There we go. Hello, everyone. Vase of here. Welcome to another session of D&D with Quarantine. Uh, we're going to be playing, uh, of course, session three. Um, we are down a player, Rokax. They just had a baby, so congratulations to him um, and his family. Um, so he's going to be, you know, taking care of fam uh, today. And uh, hopefully our plan is we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, tomorrow to try to explain why uh, he's not going to be participating today in terms of the storyline. Uh, we do have uh, the majority of the team here, though. Um, so, so I will turn up the stuff. Also, heck yeah. Look at those super cool new transitions. I'm super excited for those. Um, let me unmute myself. There we go. Aw, oh, you guys are adorable. I saw that. I saw that. Um, anyway, here is our team. Let's see. Oh, goodness. How did that... Oh, everything's all jacked up. The, uh... The Discord is froze. Why is my Discord froze? That's not good. I don't like that. Oh, now it's good. We're good now. All right. Um, holy crap, it's super laggy, though. Why is it so stinking laggy? Let's see if I can uh, resolve that little issue real quick. Because, holy crap. Save. Hopefully, that helped. But hello, everyone. Uh, you guys ready to play some D and D? Yes. Sweet. I'm gonna turn can up. You hear me, okay? Yes, we can hear you just I fine. I'm trying to figure out what in the world is going wrong. With me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh no, please don't tell me that. No, you're fine. Uh, I, I during the intro, I mute everyone. So. Mm. This but. is the only headphones I have because I have another pair, but the problem is with that brand is every time I get them, the mic always messes up, and I'm just like, oh, no. Oh, no. Um, Let me get there. Cool. Let's see, my friends. So, where we leave off last week, we, you guys murdered an innocent owl bear for a group of uh, hefty mineral bards that wanted a super sweet venue to jam out to. Um, and then you were also going to track down this elusive cat and, uh, you're waiting for that, uh, strange merchant guy to drop into town, um, to catch up from, uh, what's going to go on now. Uh, Rokax is actually going to split from the party, uh, cause he wants more information as to what the heck happened to Aldaria. So he's actually going to choose to go talk to his village elder and, uh, see if she may have some information as to what the heck happened. So that's why he's splitting. Um, you guys all did level up to level three. Uh, so we need to explain some new skills here. Echo, your notice um, in your diary, uh, magically a new set of runes appeared. And now you are able to summon uh, helpers, like uh, your familiars. That's, so that's going to explain why you got uh, your new spell. The Oracle is uh, slowly revealing uh, more spells that are available to you. Um, Pancog, you don't have anything yet, obviously. Um, and Lushu, why would you explain? Uh, we're going to say when you were helping out around town uh, and chase... Oh, perfect! While you were chasing that cat, you got more dexterous in your ability to climb up walls and stuff and jump across roofs. Perfect! It's like it was planned. Uh, you know what? It was planned. How about that? <laughs> um, and Corin. Um, how are we going to explain? Actually, that works for you, too, because you were actually helping Lushu chase the cat. Um, so you got a couple new spells that you can just do, um, that you, without preparing. I think it was Spider Climb. That makes perfect sense. Uh, you found a way to harness nature's energy to climb across the town. Barkskin, uh, I guess we can just go with that, that, uh, <laughs> you tried to come up with a way to uh, protect yourself from, like, a fall or something uh, from that those kind of heights. I don't know if that kind of makes sense. Um, but, let's see. Uh, moving forward, I don't think I need to actually explain any of these things that I had written down right now, because uh, we can do that as we're moving forward. Um, in, uh, you guys wanted to immediately go try to catch that cat, right? That was the plan? Uh, yes. you, you were going to have six traps set up, and... Uh, Originally, I had a map for you guys to uh, run around, uh, but I watched a video on a cool thing called skill challenges. 
uh, that was a thing in fourth edition that I kind of want to implement with you guys right now. Um, so instead of having that map, uh, we're going to just RP this and it's all going to be in your head and we're going to play it that way. So the idea is you all decided that you're going to go try to capture this cat. I need to get some sound effects or something. Um, let's just get some uh, playlists here. Um, you're going to go try to catch this cat and you have traps set up throughout the city or the village. And uh, the idea is skill challenge is you as a team can come up with any sort of skills that you are proficient in to roll to try to catch this cat. And I'm not going to tell you how many successes you need, but if you meet those, that criteria of successes as a team, before you meet three failures, you're going to pass kind of thing. And, but if you fail, something happens, obviously. Um, difficulty, uh, depending on the number of successes, goes up depending on the difficulty of the challenge. Uh, you are only able to use skills that you are proficient in. If you fail one of your skills, um, you can't use that skill again as a ability or a skill check. Do you guys kind of understand what's going to happen here? So yeah. can we use it again after a rest? Is it like once per rest or is it once? Um, uh, you, no, you'll, it normal gameplay, you'll be able to use it as many times as you want. It's only when I declare this is a skill challenge. It's so like, think of it like a video game. It's like, oh shit, I'm locked in kind of thing. Um, and it sounds kind of fun. So we're going to try that. Um, I'm having a brain fart. There was something I was going to try to start up. Oh, music. We need, we need something. Um, yes. Uh, let's do this. I don't know. These are all named things, so hopefully they sound okay and appropriate. Hopefully it'll start up right quick here. There we go. And checking my notes. Make sure I'm not missing anything here. Um, also, uh, I did send you guys a message on Discord earlier in the week. If there's anything that um, you want for your character in terms of... Um, ab not b abilities, but like equipment, items... Anything to enhance your character's gameplay, skills, role-playing, uh, abilities, whatever. Let me know. Send me a direct message in Discord. And uh, it'll help me understand how you actually desire to play your character better. So I don't just, you know, if I give you guys stuff, you're not just like, oh, yay, plus one AC. I don't care about that. I would have preferred, like, plus, you know, to my dex bonus or something, you know. So uh, when... Give you guys mull over that, think about that, and uh, send me a message or something, and uh, we can figure some stuff out in the future. Yeah, this works. Um, so you guys are kind of grouped up in the middle of the city. Rokax has uh, left to go figure out some stuff, and uh, this is where you guys are now. So you're grouping up. You're going to try to take out this cat, so figure out how you're going to skin this cat. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, because uh, you found, like, some of its favorite food or something, right? And what what did I name it? It was, like, named Schnookums or something stupid. It was Schnookums. Yeah, that's right. Sally. All right. Schnookums. Um, well, go ahead. Uh, she is in the tavern. Is there anyone else around? She's in the tavern. She, uh, in the inn. Uh, she's playing with uh, Sally. And uh, that's where Belroy is as well. Okay. So you're gonna all right so who are you guys are gonna go try to talk to no
Okay. Um, well, there's not that many people in there right now because uh, it's about midday now, and they're all trying to go about their normal daily lives for their works and or their jobs or whatever they do around the town for help. Um, so uh, people are doing their various odds and ends in the inn. Uh, Bellroy is actually uh, just offset of it. He's doing some uh, tanning of some leather that he got from Rokax uh, catching those uh, deer. Um, he's turning those into usable leather. Um, like, Belthany's inside. She's playing with Sally, keeping her entertained uh, and out of trouble. And there's various uh, people around town. There's, like, a, a, a... Belroy is a blacksmith in terms of he can do some very simple work. But there's a a blacksmith lady that actually has a shop. She does more of the heavy lifting stuff that is needed for... Uh, either some heavy construction, maybe some armor or weapon repair. Um, sh she's the person you would want to go to for that. But um, pretty much other people are around town doing what they need to do for their da daily lives. Uh, okay. There any other animal around? Any One other? That, like another cat or maybe a dog? Um. <laughs> well. It, it is a small town. You, you could probably well. There's that rat infestation that's going down in uh, that one brewery, um, and uh, there's some farmers have some dogs and stuff to keep you know coyotes or uh, wolves away and protect their flocks and stuff. Uh, they're all kind of working dogs. Maybe a couple strays here and there. Um, I was gonna see if I could maybe beast bomb for some of them and maybe get like a kind of hint to see if they might might have seen the cat too i forget can you uh actually converse with an animal with beast bond um i get simple like, simple emotions and concepts so if it's in a particular spot in the town or something I, they'd probably be able to communicate that yeah let's see oh and that's a that's a spell i forgot about that mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna turn off that. Let's see. You get a telepathic link. Oh, so you have to touch an animal. Yeah, that's why I'm asking you to anywhere near us. Right. Uh. Oh, that's cool. Simple emotions and concepts back to you. Okay. Um. So yeah, sure. You can. Uh. There's there's a dog walking walking around. Uh. Do you just kind of. What would the dog be doing? Okay, there's an errand dog uh, walking around. Uh, he's going to one of the shops or whatever, and he's delivering a, a little letter uh, to another shop owner kind of thing for uh, his master. So you, you're going to go over and, and touch him? Yeah, would it be considered a role for animal handling to see if it doesn't run away from me? Um, nah, it's, it's a dog. It's used to people. Um, it sees you coming up. Might be like, oh, I don't know who you are. Why are you going to come up and touch me? Um, but it's not hostile to you by any means. Okay, so I use Beast Bond with it. Okay. Um, as you touch it, uh, the animal's kind of taken aback that it can actually understand you speaking to it. Um, and it... Uh, so that would be you. What, do we, what are you saying to the dogo? to see if it knows anywhere that the cat might be. Uh, the schnookums, the cat. Okay. Uh, it has to only communicate in emotions. Um, yeah, let's see. Hey, look, dog barking in the background. <laughs> let's see. Um, okay. You are able to pick up through your telepathic link that the dog is a little nervous and anxious and a little confused, uh, not necessarily at what you're asking it, but in when you mention schnookums, it is put it 
It's put ill at ease uh, when you ask it. The dog is obviously conveying distrust for this animal and uh, it's kind of wary of them. Um, but <laughs> but the, the dog is happy that you're talking to it. So it's like uh, simple emotions or concepts. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, never mind. Um, and you're asking like if it's seen it around. Mm-hmm. How could I convey that with s- simple emotions? Um, well, simple concepts like smells. Dogs smell things. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, the dog kind of sniffs, <laughs> sniffs the air to see if it kind of uh, figured out, and then it starts wagging its tail, and uh, you're able to see it's one of the dog's favorite areas in the town. It's in a little back alley where there's a bunch of trash, generally, because it goes and, you know, sneaks some food every now and then. Um, So you're able to pick up that the dogs can sniff out where maybe this cat was last seen or has been recently and is probably in this little back alley. Okay. I pat its head, I give it a good scratch. I tell him he's been a good boy. (laughs) Doggo wags his tail and um, yeah, as you give it a good scratch, it starts kicking its foot. He's like, yes, that feels good. Yes, he says that he's seen the cat uh, around the back alley that's filled with a bunch of trash. Now, I do have to warn that the dog has felt ill at ease when I mentioned the cat. Okay. Well, I think if, if one of us was going to go down the alleyway, I think it should be me because I've got uh, the biggest stealth check, and even though I failed big time before, um, prowling and stuff is my kind of. I wanted to check it out, but just to like observe if anything is down there without being seen. I should probably go and have a look. Yeah, I've got, I've got a uh, I couldn't hear you, Hank. Uh... That was Echo. No, no, I heard what Echo said before. Oh. I said, didn't you try to get the cat before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was a different day. <laughs> <laughs> that was a different day. Are we seeing an animal handling try to go down the alley first? Are we even certain that it's actually an animal? That's the thing. It's only got the form of an animal. It doesn't technically mean. Because what animal? I know it's a fantasy world, but I've never heard of an animal that can just teleport and blink and everywhere, like with a normal concept of that sort of creature. Thanks. So, yeah. you know, I don't, personally, I don't think it's actually an animal, it's just taking the form of it, but I guess animal handling could do something? I don't know, that's not the DM, I guess. Well, I also have a proficiency in stealth as well. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, so this is a skill challenge here. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you guys are in a skill challenge. <laughs> Officially declared. Oh. All right, I got a, I got my paper here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so th- at this point, you guys just think of ways that you could use any of your various proficiencies and skills to try to get a hold of this cat. And so you're going to try to use animal handling to do what exactly? Uh, you're muted? No, I'm not muted. There you go. And your mic might have, was probably just not picking you up. I'm trying to figure it out. I think we should try to, or one of us should try to sneak up on it. Just, you know. I was going to put my acrobatics. Because I'm proficient in acrobatics, and I just got hit level 3, so I can climb faster. And I'm guessing this alleyway, that means there's buildings either side. So I just go to the top of the building to kind of clear over. And see if I can see anything from above. That yep. would be what I'd offer for my, for my uh, yeah, acrobatics check. I feel like animal handling would make me more approachable to the animal. Mm-hmm. Especially if I used mm-hmm. it. I also think we should try luring it with the, I, I guess you said the the meat or something mm-hmm. um, from the last episode. Yeah, I think we had um, venison. I think we killed 
Yeah. Oh, that's right. Somebody, yeah, we, that's we, what we it was. Had, we had quite a few bits of meat each, yeah. We should yeah. definitely try luring it with that. I kind of wish I had a, like, an alley sound. Ignore the fire you're hearing. Lure it, lock it off, um, <laughs> different directions, and by the end of the alley, and up top as well. You can keep a check up top, um, Luxie. No. Um, and we can keep it uh, locked in and lure it at the same time and catch it. Question. Does the bar sell catnip? The tavern? Um, no, they don't know what catnip is. That doesn't exist yet. <laughs> Do they sell long bottom weed? <laughs> long bottom. <laughs> Long the finest part in the South Farthing. Oh, what was that, Pancock? I said catnip tea would probably make it a little bit more docile. <sighs> late, late Holy crap! Really cat late. sound just happened. Um, if, if, uh, in the general store, do they have any sort of um, like sleep dog or tranquilizer dog? Which doesn't involve killing the animal. Hmm. Let's see. Would this little town That's have that? Really or maybe not that. Maybe not the little store. Maybe someone else might. You know, because we've got a blacksmith. We've got a more proficient blacksmith. Maybe someone. Maybe a hunter around. We could talk to a hunter and see yeah. if he has any spare equipment on him. Let's um, say um. Mind trading for some gold or some other inventory bits. We'll say that uh, some of the. Hunters and stuff have, uh, or not hunters, um, one of the local uh, herbalists um, have some concoctions to help. Ooh, do they have any clarion root? Yeah, yeah, exactly. To help uh, the townsfolk to, you know, get some sleep or whatever. So you could go talk to her and uh, see if uh, she can maybe mix you something up. Okay, I think we should go to her first before we try setting everything else up. So at least then we've got all bases so if i was to be at the top just keeping an eye someone was to put the lure down someone tries to make the cat a bit more docile and all if we work together we should be able to get it should be no problem but yeah we should go and see the, the herbalist first okay um you're probably gonna want to ask a nearby villager where she's at okay so i, I turn around and um kind of just look around and i see a guy by the market store i just kind of ask him um Excuse me, sir. I hear talk of a advanced herbalist in the area. Would you mind pointing me in their direction? He says, "Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I, I think you're you're probably looking for uh, Gisella. Uh, yeah, just uh, maybe thirty feet down that way. Uh, take the left, and uh, she's in a big shack. You'll you can't miss her. She's got plants. So her area of plants is probably bigger than her little shack." That she lives in. So, name's Jajella, sweet old woman. Go find her. Okay, so I turn back to the other guys and just say, I've heard wind of a herbalist called Gisella. Um, just out towards this way, and apparently her garden is absolutely massive. So, let's just go. I just start leading the way towards where the market vendor was pointed. Cool. Okay. Uh, I. Turn to Lucia and I, I, with my knowledge of herbs, uh, from from my forest, you know, is my preferred uh, favorite terrain. I, well, from my travels, it uh, would be probably beneficial if she has some valerian root and magnolia bark. Magnolia bark is the one that we're gonna really want for sleep. The valerian is just for muscle relaxation. Gonna make it very, very bleh. <laughs> very bleh. <laughs> now, off we go then. Let's Rock on. Let's go. Let's go. Cool. Uh, cool. So, to see the herbalist. <laughs> <laughs> you guys uh, arrive at the herbalist uh, shop. Um, the shack is maintained, uh, probably more by uh, nature itself than actually maintained by a human craft of building a. Uh, you know, supports or whatever, um, but it actually has a tree growing inside the wall of the house. It's actually holding up a whole section itself. Um, but uh, you can tell this person is very much uh, in com 
in tune with living as nature allows and would prefer. Uh, other section of the house is uh, built with stonework and uh, also held up by vines and various tree bits and mud. Um, but other than that, just surrounded by different sorts of herbs and vegetables and stuff that she grows. And uh, this is obviously how she makes her trade in uh, her city. Village, town, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I kind of like, she makes his way through like, the vines and all the stuff on the floor, etc. And just kind of knocks on the door, uh, hoping for an answer. So, there you go. Uh, um, after a few seconds pause, uh, you hear it. As the door opens up, actually, that wouldn't make the sound because that means mean, there's metal there. It, uh, it grinding sound as she slides the the wood using on some makeshift wooden uh hinges he's like how, how can i help you uh, i turn to um pancog and say I, I think it's best you take this because you have the advanced knowledge in the herbs <laughs> so um i kind of lead the way for pancog to start the conversation uh Good afternoon, ma'am. It, it's very nice to make your acquaintance. We were hoping that we could talk to you about procuring some herbs. Uh, I was trying to see if you might have valerian root and magnolia bark. Oh, but of course, but of course, I would be happy to help you. Would, uh, would, can I interest you in your, some tea? Would you like to come in? Uh, sure, we would love to come in. Thank you so much. Uh, she leads you in uh, very... Simple, modest home. And I'm like, don't. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I really was thinking about it. Uh, she... I know, and that's why I specifically turn to you and I say, don't, or I will stab <laughs> <laughs> okay, real quick, before we do go in, because um, Lushu, he has got a very, you know, mistrusting personality. Um, I do have um, proficiency in perception. Is there any way I can see if this woman does have good intentions? Because just offering strangers tea, like, he's very dubious about her. You know, a woman who lives around many, many herbs, many of which can be poisonous if mixed together, I'm sure. <laughs> um, I want to see if she's I... really true of heart. You know what I mean? If she's not got any ill intention. You just want to know if I... Which is... I want to know if I... Yeah, well, I'm known as the rogue that Which touches up matches, for God's sake. No one trusts me, so <laughs> I need to make sure... I need to make sure that I'm safe, dude. We... <laughs> There's a cat noise, Again. right? <laughs> Hold on, uh, my audio is really jacked up. <laughs> um, Confirmed. I don't know why your guys' audio is coming through my chat. Apparently, Confirmed. when I copied this scene for the D&D session, it broke all my outputs and I never noticed. They were all named the same, so I just kind of assumed they were the same. Like, four of the outputs were all listed for the chat mic, which is you guys. So, essentially, why you guys sounded tinny was because there was three of your outputs being played at once. So there was, like, the weird echo. Okay. Hopefully it's freaking resolved, and we can continue. You still hear the background music, right? The, or the crickets? Yes, we hear it. Yep, the crickets going. Okay. Down. There probably shouldn't be crickets, but I don't care right now. We, we have things working. Hell yeah. Let's go. Well, we are in a herbalist house, so there would be insects. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. So we'll see. It I makes sense. It could, kind of, yeah. Um, but yeah, from what you understand is uh, they, they, they they seem trustworthy. You know, she's a happy old lady. She's lived here she's all her life. Old lady, and, she, and she's happy to help out anyone that uh, is in need of her services. In which case, I shall partake in the tea that she is offering. 100%. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, as she... oh, we're thinking. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'm just... I'm fucking nervous is what I am right now. I'm just like, no, everything needs to work. <laughs> I'm checking everything. Because I'm, I'm scared that the, uh, the recording is going to be borked, but we'll deal with it. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, she comes over. Um, she, she's got a makeshift table that looks like it's made... Um, she built her house on top of a... A tree that was uh, removed so it's actually her table is just a giant like oak stump 
And uh, so she comes over. She has some uh, mugs and stuff that looks like she uh, hand carved herself. And uh, she gives you a, a, a nice little brew here. And uh, she made you each one individually. Uh, just from her perception of you as a person on what you might like. And she's like, oh, yeah, here you go. Uh, enjoy. Now, how can I help you? We were wanting to uh, uh, buy from you uh, magnolia bark and valerian root. We were going to make a, uh, a, a type of sleeping dart for a stray cat who has gone missing. Uh, but he has proven elusive, so we we thought we might have a backup plan. Oh, a, a stray cat, you say? Yes, we were attempting to catch snookums. Snookums? Oh, oh snookums! Uh, Sally's little beast. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> yes, that cat. Oh, oh, that's a, that's a wily one for sure. <laughs> Just kind of chuckles to herself. Do you know anything more that might help us with uh, acquiring the the cat for Sally? Well, that cat, uh, or that, uh, that beast seems to have its own, a mind of its own for sure. Uh, but, uh, in terms of coming up with anything that might help you, uh, have you tried letting it come to you? And... That, that is what we are attempting to do, uh, but again, this was more of a backup option. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I was also hoping you might have some milk thistle and water hemlock, just, just, uh, for future endeavors. Why, sure, I'd love to help. Let me, uh, let me go out back real quick. You know, you enjoy your tea and I, I will be back in a jiffy. Thank she, you. Um, she goes out real quick, and uh, you guys have a, your nice simmered tea here. Um, to your surprise, actually, you all enjoy uh, your tea very well. I'll let you guys go ahead and explain uh, what kind of tea she made for you. I'll, I'll let Miss Creation start first. Yeah, we'll go from this way over. Why not? <clears throat> Push the talk. Do we hear? All right. There we go. Okay. Um, so, you know, she said, uh, have you tried letting the cat come to us? I know we're looking for the cat. And we're, well, yeah, we're looking, making the cat come to us. But we haven't really let the cat come to us in a way, have we? We haven't, you know called him to us or you know let him come to us in a way is there a way we can make him come to us maybe have we we're trying that? with the yeah. lure no we're, we're yeah but we've got the sleeping dot back up i mean is there a more effective way does anyone know a hundred percent bulletproof schnookums guaranteed plan <laughs> no and that, I that think would be so. why I, I suggested that plan. animal handling make it go. Um, right now we're explaining what kind of tea you're drinking Echo um, right now oh we're shit what kind yeah. of phone <laughs> um, so um, yeah you guys have your your teas and uh what, what did you ask for Pancog some some herbs. What were they? Val not valerian root. Milk root, something they, like that. They, it was uh, milk thistle and water hemlock. Milk thistle and water hemlock. Okay, sure. Yeah, uh, she, she can come in. <laughs> uh, it's for for later on adventures. Okay. Um, she she comes in with a a couple bushels or whatever. Um, obviously this is her profession, so she's gonna want you to, you know. Offer a trade of some sort, maybe some, um, some coin, whatever. Um, she's like, yeah, I got you some thistle here, or whatever. 
uh, milk road and bleh, whatever. <laughs> and uh, uh, what, what what have you to trade? I'd be happy to trade you. I didn't have the effect on. I'd be uh, happy to trade you. What are you looking for? I might see if I have it. Um, what would she be looking for? Um, well, her all she really has here is, you know, herbs. So, uh, foods. Um, anything else to that she could maybe use as a tool? She's all, you know, you always pay her with coin. Kind of thing. Uh, I can pay you with coin. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, how right. does uh, two silver sound? It sounds delightful. Cool. Uh, so you get a couple bushels of your or milk. Or, yeah, you get you get a <laughs> bushel of each. How about that? Valerian root and magnolia bark. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, so she she gets you all those things that you wanted, and uh, she says, uh, "Oh, you are you gonna try to mix the stuff to knock the cat out, or are you gonna let her do that?" do the magnolia bark and the valerian root. The other two I'm going to do separately. Alright, you might want to let her know that you would like her to make something for you so a cat would eat it. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind uh, maybe turning this into something that a cat would want or some type of liquid that we could put on to a food source. Maybe like a piece of meat. She kind of thinks to herself and furls her brow. Is like, you're trying to knock the cat out? Yes. That that is our backup plan. She kind of thinks to herself, being a a person of uh the of the of nature, thinking of uh, knocking a an animal out just to catch it and bring it to probably potentially. She has the thought of this cat doesn't want to be caught or interact with you. She's kind of abstains from wanting to give this to you, but she goes. Can I roll a persuasion check? Sure, go ahead and roll a persuasion. Fourteen. Um, she kind of looks at you and is a. Uh, Do I have your word? As a fellow herbalist, no harm will come to this cat if I give this to you. I give you my word. No harm shall come to this feline as long as we are a group. And as long as I am a herbalist as well. She kind of nods for something. Like, Very well. Uh, give me a few minutes to prepare uh, the concoction. I don't know a word for the, whatever she's going to do. <laughs> prepare the remedy. Op well, I don't know. Whatever. So she's going to go... There's a couple of things that she can do with it. She can turn it into a paste, she yep. can turn it into a powder, or she can stew it and then turn it into a liquid. Right. So my thought was uh, she's going to make you uh, various uh, concoctions. She's going to obviously want some coin for that as well. And I'm going to let you know right now that the milk thistle, that is for if any of my party members start getting on my nerves. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's not. It's not bad. It's a. It's a mild laxative. Oh, inducing. that's hilarious! I was hoping you were going to say sedative, mild. but, but I, I like a laxative better. That's funny. Okay. And um, the the water hemlock is the poison. Oh, jeez. All right. Um. So she comes up to you and uh, she she's giving you a bunch of various options that you can have, and she's like, uh, I can I can give you each of these for an, another extra silver. Okay. How much silver? Just one. Just one? Yeah. There, there's just a, deal. a little bit of paste. Um, she's got another liquid, and uh, she's she's giving you just a, a little smorgasbord of ideas here, and she's like, because she knows the cat is a little wily, but uh, she's essentially give, trying to cover your bases here. Okay. I hand her the uh, the coin. And then, and then I received the paste from her, or all the the different ways she made it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I turn to my fellow fellow party members and uh, I say, I think we've accomplished our mission for the day. I think we should venture forward. <clears throat> Perfect. Indeed. Okay. Um. So you guys gonna go try to set up different. <laughs> sleep aids on these uh we, we the traps. Get okay. Get the okay. Uh so where where are you walking off to? I turn to Lucia oh, no. and I say, Well, you were the one that attempted to catch the cat before. I did the hard work. <laughs> well, I'm carrying with my plan. I, I intend to go to that alleyway. Um that being what I would assume the best place to be, and for us to set up around mm -hmm. that. Um, maybe, um, um, one of us just turns to animal forms right now, right? I think like, would, 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 would the cat be a bit more comfortable if they were to see another animal, shall we say, like if, with the liquid one, um, if we were to put that into a bowl or something, if we could have the druid pretending to drink the water to kind of show that it's safe to and you know kind of befriend the cat in that way um maybe corin could do that um whilst i'm on top of the roof um being all stealthy and looking over keeping eyes down um and the other two um pancog can probably set up the trap get us up in position and maybe echo around the back like she suggested before just in case the cat tries to run out the opposite direction, because an alleyway, you know, I'm guessing it has two exits, not just like an entrance and an exit, not just you can go down one way and it's a dead end, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's a dead, dead end. end. There is a dead end. Because that's okay. where people uh, uh, throw a bunch of their, their trash or whatever, and that's why uh, the dog okay. liked that well, area, because he can just go hang out and be safe. Maybe Pancog and Echo should stay towards that end. Then. Well, my question is, Corin. What exactly forms do you have? Because I think you said you had a panther form, but that would be entirely too big for a. Oh, she can turn into like cat. a cat and stuff. Okay. Um, Actually, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, anything I challenge rating three perfect... or lower, I and uh, medium or smaller. Form you have the what? I think I have the perfect uh, form for this. Oh, okay. But, uh, no. I feel like Miss Creation is just. She hasn't done much this campaign so far. <laughs> At least this session. Every time I open my mouth, something is like. Ah, uh, it's all good. I never get anything out. I feel like. Okay, so. I'm going to hand her half of the uh, stuff that the herbalist gave me. And uh, we're going to divide and conquer, basically. One of us goes to Lushu, one of us goes to Corin. Okay. Uh, so you're you're just gonna go try to apply the uh, sleep aids to the various traps you have. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm gonna have each of you roll. Hmm. What could you roll to apply? Would it be survival? Yeah, I'm thinking you could do survival. Or would it be medicine? Let's. Actually, yeah, I would say it'd probably be medicine. Also, um, I'm gonna I forgot to check your skill. Are you proficient in uh, persuasion? You are. Okay. Um, I will give you counts for your successes for your persuasion and stuff. Um, I was gonna say, yes, I am. <laughs> oh. Please don't make me give up that one. Uh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Me. Um, oh, you guys rolled one and a two. Ouch. Um, so, uh, one of those, Wait. um, so this is your skill challenge. So, if you guys want, uh, or so be aware that any of these failures and stuff are going to apply to your failure, your failure count, um, here. So, um, I'm going to say two of those were not applied very well. Um, so the, can, I, uh, can I use an inspiration point to re roll? Yes, you can. Oh, 
Holy shit. You went from a 1 to a 20? A 1 to a 20? All right. Um, I didn't roll a 1. I just I rolled a 9. Um, oh, yeah, you rolled a 9. One. Sorry. Yeah. Plus 1. Um, so you, uh, you, you see that you're starting to mess up, and then uh, you decide you're able to salvage it all back and then reapply it in a much better fashion. Uh, the, so Schnookums probably will not be able to detect any sort of uh, foul play uh, with this trap. Uh, however, yes. the uh, Echo, the other one that you did, um, that one is a little suspicious on it and didn't come out the best way possible. Um, but it, 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 it is applied, and uh, it, if, you know, if someone eats it... Oops, I took off the wrong Excellent. expression. Uh, it'll, they'll, they'll, of course, be probably sleep did What would that be? <laughs> they'll, they'll get the sleepies. <laughs> Why do I have don't be suspicious in my head right now? Um, okay. So, you guys have one failure on your skill challenge right now. Just heads up. And, uh, okay, so Lucio, Corin. Uh, you guys are going to apply some pastes and stuff to these traps as well. Guess, do we roll medicine as well then? Okay. Um, or you can choose uh. not to. Well, actually, you have to be proficient to roll against it. Oh. Uh, to count as your skill challenge, anyway. Medicine. Oh, so I can pick anything. Yeah, you proficient. have you have to be proficient in it. Okay, well, I said I was going to climb the building and look from above anyway. Plus level three, I got faster climbing, so I'm going to go for my acrobatics, um, which I am proficient in. Uh, gives me a plus five as well. Oh, oh nice roll. So um, okay. th that's doing what for you? You're just climbing around? Yeah, so I'm like scaling the building. Um, to put myself at a decent Ooh. vantage point to look down and Whoa, okay. observe what's going on. And uh, Corrin is proficient in medicine. Very well done. Um, so you are able to... Um, yeah, Lucy's up on a scouting point, seeing if he can be aware of where the cat is. And uh, Corrin successfully applies one of the sleep aids to the trap. And uh, I'll say... All the traps are decently applied, uh, except for a couple that are a little less uh, well done. Uh, but now, uh, you guys are ready to find this cat. Okay, uh, what time of day is this now? Because it was uh, midday when we started, and we've done we had a bit of an adventure, so what <laughs> time-ish? I'd say it's probably about f five in the after, or five in the evening. Okay, so turn that to down. And say, okay, it's going to get dark soon. Mm -hmm. So now's the now's the time to have everything Fun. ready, sort it out, yeah, just... and get into position and get ready. Mm -hmm. mm. Because the time the cats mostly come out for food would be night time. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Um. <laughs> Dark vision. I know I do. I elves do. I do. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if Corin does. Let's see. I'm looking. It doesn't look like it. Nope. So three of us have dark vision, so we can see fairly well in the dark. Yeah, you can see uh, black and white in the dark outlines and stuff. Um, okay. Um, Pancog, you are proficient in survival. Or, um, yep. yes, survival. So that could be like, uh, if you're trying to track the, uh, the cat, you can do that. Actually, Lucy, you're proficient in it as well. So. I'm getting oh, thank God. Wow, that was a great roll. So um, I need to roll survival, yeah? Um, if you want to, I'm just letting you know that, um, that could be used for one of your skill checks if you wanted. Um, oh, yeah, actually, Echo is proficient as well. Holy crap. Uh, uh, um, let's see. Plus four, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, what, Ooh. essentially, I will say, uh, send, instead of each of you going individually, um, say you grouped back up, and Lucio, you went to actually help Pancog with, uh, 
for tracking. Echo is doing some tracking as well. And uh, you guys were able to find some tracks here and there uh, that seem to be related to the cat. You don't know uh, which kind of cat. Uh, Pancog and uh, Echo were able to determine um, the most likely outcomes of the cat prince or whatever that could be related to Schnookums. Um, so you're going to go search for that way and uh, you come upon one of your traps and there's a cat slowly prowling up to it and kind of sniffing around see if uh, anything is suspicious around and starts looking interested in this little uh, morsel of food that it's in front of it. Okay. Um, well, I think best thing to do, I mean, with um, being the elf, we only see uh, in grey in the darkness. Mm -hmm. um, and it's only um, up to 60 feet. So how far away are we from? I'm guessing we're, we're, we're within we're within sixty feet because well, we can see. It's still daytime. Cat. Still, it's you still can see it. Day. Yeah. Oh, it's still daytime. Oh, yeah. you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, in that case, uh, is is does the cat match the description of Schnookums, or is it a totally different breed, color, whatever, or is it roughly looking from afar? Does it look like it could be? Because if it is, then I'm gonna start sneaking up uh, towards. You does actually. Schnookums, sorry. You're good. The Schnookums have a distinctive uh, mark that we could see with our dark sight because obviously, as Luxu just mentioned, um, we can only see in grey, black and white. No, it's, it was it's not dark out right now, so you don't need that. Yeah, yeah. But when, when we are, and uh, when we're not even, in normal light, does the cat have any um, a uh, fur marks that uh, disti <clears throat> distinguishes it? You guys wouldn't know because you never asked anyone. <laughs> But we'd already that's seen what, the cat because we've been really chasing like, it around. Oh, that's true. That's Good, the thing. We'd already, we'd already Good seen counter. the cat. Ah! Um, I should have thought about asking a question. <laughs> uh, I, I forgot you know, about we, that. We, we, like, we, how we, would you we, know we, which we cat you're going it, after? So, so we'll say it was we part of the poster. It. Yeah, it was part of the poster, we'll say. <laughs> um, so uh, it's a black cat. Um, it's got some strange uh, bits on the on its back that uh, no one can explain. Um, but other than that, uh, it seems like a normal cat. Okay. So, uh, I'd like to tell them, hey, why don't we see real quick if it's going to take to the food? Because if it does, there's no need to startle it by getting ahead of ourselves. Agreed. Mm-hmm. So, so the minute you... Lushu tries to do a, a check, <laughs> he might fail. Picture. <laughs> So you're able, uh, you, you, so you find the cat and you're looking at it, right? Mm -hmm. So tell me what, uh, We're looking at it. Mm -hmm. so I'll say, yeah, you're about 60 feet away and, uh, it hasn't, uh, picked up on your lo location or scent yet because, uh, it is interested in this food here. Uh Oh, my, uh, game seems to be, or tool seems to be locking up. I don't like that. The heck? Uh oh. I didn't lose interwebs, did I? No. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Um. So tell me what uh, you guys are doing exactly. I am um, crouched around the corner, uh, kind of peering out. A little bit, not enough for the cat to notice. Okay. Oh, I forgot to explain. Um, the cat has a uh, six legs. Six. Legs. That's not a normal cat. Right, That's cool. definitely Schnookums. All right, fantastic. All right. Well, in that case, um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm um, gonna use. Um, let me just double check that it can go that far. How far does um, face step allow me to go? Uh, I think it's 30 feet. Uh, face step, 30 feet. Okay. 
Well, I'll probably save that for when I'm a bit closer. I'll probably save that for when I, I'm going to move in towards, I'm going to move 35 feet ahead of me just so I've got a little bit of wiggle room. And I'm going to, I'm going to wait there before I attempt to use my teleportation, misty step, whatever, to try and get behind the cat. I'm going to look back towards the others and make sure they're in position in case anything else goes wrong. Okay. So, Pankog, you're crouched behind like the wall slightly. Um, where's Echo and Corin? I'm um, blocking the entrance of the um, alleyway. Okay. Are you even at the alleyway still? Pardon? I was, was yeah. It the alleyway, or was it a different trap? Hancock, you might want to move your uh, webcam. Oh, You're cutting your face we off. We were at the same place, I believe. <laughs> Okay, and uh, you're on top of the roofs, you said, Blue Shoe? Is that what you said? Oh, no, I was by... Uh, uh, Corin. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Okay. Just getting ready, like, within, like, you know, the area to get interpretation, within range. Okay. Um, so, you guys are preparing, what are you doing? Like, you, you gotta tell oh, me when you're going. I'm... Look, let me have a look, see what... Um, I feel like I am getting ready to very quickly uh, be able to cast. Uh, <laughs> somebody else go. My brain <laughs> in it won't let me think of something. Um. Uh, what am I wearing? Hang on. I might do something a little bit crazy here. Hang on. Okay. Um. Are we surrounded by a forest? No. You are at the front of a alleyway that is in the side of town. Hmm. Okay, right. I can buy. I can buy new ones after. Sod it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take my daggers out. And I'm gonna start ripping um, parts of my um, trousers um, in order to help fashion like a little bag because I've got rope on me. I've got other bits as well. well I've got nothing else to make a bag. So you, that's, you have a bag. Do. You actually have a backpack uh, in your inventory. Yeah, um, I, 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 is that in? Is that back? I saw that, but I thought that was where my arrows, bell, candles, crowbar, and all that yeah. was. Or is that just on my person? I'm, so I don't really want to empty everything on the floor. You can just jump it out somewhere. You know? I, exactly. I don't want to do this. I'd rather buy new armor. You'd, 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 you'd rather armor. cut off your pants is what you're saying. <laughs> I, I would rather nude. cut off a section of my... Uh, 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 gold, gold, dude. <laughs> gold, gold, gold. Um, I don't know if you have enough pants to cut... To make something big okay, enough well, to catch the case, cat. I'll, I'll, I'll leave all of my yeah, stuff. I mean, you'd, you'd be wearing I booty shorts at this point. I'm already in position, so I, don't, I can't really move at this point. The cat's <laughs> there. So, as soon as I'm still on that roof, I'm going to take all of my stuff out of it and put it down quietly so that I've got that empty backpack ready to face step down and kind of try and lunge and get over it. Seeing as I'm guessing now it's had the food, or has it still not had the food yet? Because I want to wait cat? a little bit after he's had the food to kind yeah, of slow the, the him cat down. Hasn't yeah. Eaten it yet. Okay. okay. So I, from above, I kind of look down towards the rest of the group, kind of nodding, uh, just to like, just like wait until you know the time is right. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm ready. I am prepared to when it's done, when, when it's ready to jump down and put in my backpack, basically. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, um, drop it. Go ahead. Uh, meanwhile. I think that I am going to be like you said. This is an alleyway, right? Um, yeah. Is there is there any like there's there's obviously corners or something like outside the alleyway, right? Or like where the the cat can't see me, right? Uh, yeah. The the alleyway is like in a it's it's a straight line and it's a dead end, so it can't get out anyway. Uh, the only way out is through you guys or running up, you know. The uh, okay, the walls or something. Um, I'd probably, I'd probably be like, 
maybe on the other corner of the alleyway, just where the, like, on the outside, kind of, where the um, cat can't see me. <laughs> and I kind of want to try to turn into a um, giant wolf spider, just in case um, the cat, like, doesn't eat and tries to get away. I can shoot a uh, spider web at it, at it to try oh, to okay. maybe... Capture. To immobilize it. Okay. Uh, can I also roll for animal handling to be able to ready to pounce and like grab like the scruff of its neck? Sure. <sighs> uh, I guess that will come into play if it tries to escape. I guess. Um, so I will say, uh, you guys are slowly getting in position and i'm looking at you guys i gotta look at your uh party sheet to get some information on you here here you go your passive perception yeah okay um as you guys are setting up in position you notice that uh it does indeed have the six legs and you you notice the little bumps on its back and uh you, you've confirmed that this is Schnookums. However, as Schnookums starts to uh, get closer, or as you're getting closer, you start to notice that these tentacle things pop on out. And this is what you're seeing. You just see a smaller version of it. That is Schnookums. Oh, he a demon. <laughs> and... <laughs> And, uh, yeah, okay. as, it, as it's getting ready to eat the food, these little tentacles come out, and it grabs the food, and it sniffs it. Ooh. And, here. And, yep, it was a, it was a, de one of the decent traps. It starts, uh, slowly eating the, the, the food. And, uh, the it drug food. scarfs it down right quick. And then, uh, it flicks its tail up in a uh, kind of excitement, and uh, I will make you guys each roll a uh, stealth check. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, God, no, that was awful. I am the stealthy God. boy. <laughs> Look, it's your only good roll for the night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I got outrolled by a dragon boy. <laughs> well, if you think about it, she is a, a wolf spider right now, so. True, true. That's even worse. Echo as you roll. Hey, stop slurping. Echo? Sorry? Your, your roll? I did. It's up there. Where? Yeah, we're not seeing it's, it. Uh, below you. The, the, no, the stealth roll. That was last time. That was your survival. Yeah. Oh. Stealth roll. I forgot it's on it. need to roll a stealth roll. You're good. I must have rolled. Oh, I nice. I rolled it off the board. Okay. Empty. Um, Worth it. <laughs> Rushu and Corrin are definitely uh, hidden very well. Uh, Pancog. Well, uh, Echo is, is hidden decently well as well. Uh, but Pancog, as a... Uh, you were getting I was ready. So the <laughs> as as you were uh, like prepping yourself to have to pounce on the cat in case it got away, uh, you step on a uh, a bit of weed and stuff that makes a noise, and the the cat gets alerted. It doesn't see you, however, but now it's alerted that uh, something is around that it doesn't see. So uh, it, it it's on a little bit higher of alert now. However, it did eat its food. Okay, so, so now it's just maybe a little sleepy soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how long does it take for um, the sedative to kick in? Filaria root. 15 to 20 minutes in yep. real life. <laughs> so, <laughs> root, uh, if it was, was it paste or was it powder? Because I think it depends on that. Uh, it was the paste one. Um... However, the cat having a, is now a little nervous and is going to try to run up the, the back alley wall to a, a, get out of the situation because it's uncomfortable now. 
Um, could I roll an acrobatics check to see if I could jump whilst he's running up the wall and try to capture him with my bag? Uh, well, he's trying to get away. If I'm above him, I've got the high ground. It's my, 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 my best opportunity to try and jump down. Um, I remember I took all of my stuff out of it. Oh, you did. Okay. I used my backpack instead because I didn't walk around in booty shorts, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I took all the stuff out of my bag and it's on the roof at the moment where I'm chilling. Sure, go ahead and so uh... I can, I'm above it. I can jump down and, okay, acrobatics. It's going to go so the, bad. <laughs> the Magnolia Root and the Valerian together, it might be 30, 45 minutes. <laughs> there we go okay that's a better roll um it, yeah you are you are ever well i rolled it off uh the chat thing so i'm not counting it um yeah. but it, essentially uh yeah you were able to successfully pounce on the cat and uh now roll uh animal handling to see if you can wrestle it in the the thing Go on, go on, go on. Oh no, I got a plus zero to it. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's a good roll. Um, you were able to get in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> didn't think Lucy did something. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't make himself look a fool wow. this time, dude. <laughs> it's amazing. Our rogue actually did something and didn't fuck up with me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to see. Uh. Now, hopefully he won't hit on the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't try to do it. The cat's wallet. 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 <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to see if it. It's going to actually try to defend itself. And, uh. Mm. With this. Oh, yeah. It's totally. You're able to avoid its tentacles and, and it, its bite uh, before it uh, does any damage to you. And you successfully wrangle it and Damn. stuff it in your backpack. That was bullying. <laughs> well done. I just pick up the backpack and like, I got schnookums! <laughs> <laughs> and I can't look up to this like, oh, the cat is in the bag, 100%. Now, the question is, how long does it... Uh, it is not happy in the it? bag, by the way. <laughs> I think yeah, we should leave it in the bag for know. now until the um, the medicine really it's sets in. It becomes a bit more docile. <laughs> we can't. We need to find a cage. We need to find somewhere that would say sell somewhere. Hell yeah, dude. Um. So yeah, the cage is not happy. That um. It's gonna keep trying to uh, <laughs> fight out for until uh. <laughs> The drugs kick in. Couldn't, shouldn't call them. I guess they're herbs. Whatever. Um, so I'm gonna have you roll. Uh, I'll let you choose, Lucio, uh, dexterity or a strength check. Or to see if it can get out. Would it out. be better at this point to give the bag over to Corin um, and allow her to put her? I don't know who is it who could um, do that. It was sorry, it was um, Pankov who could have the connection with animals, like on like the emotional sort of level. If you could put your hand in the bag and keep your hand on it, would that keep it at ease enough? <laughs> you know, having that connection would that keep it at ease enough to stop it from struggling, or is that just a big no-no? I have to roll. She, um, well, it's up to you, but she can't use that ability on a hostile animal. So either oh, okay. either yeah. the animal no, has to be right, charmed okay. or friendly. Okay then, so I have to roll, what is it, a strength or a... Strength or dex, I'll let you choose. What dex? Dex, oh, there you go. Oh! I'm fucking done with this game, dude. <laughs> Can I perhaps shoot maybe a uh, web around the bag to to maybe just keep it? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, uh, let's help out Lucio, well, otherwise, I'd rather not this cat escape. <laughs> uh, go ahead and, what are we, where can we have you roll, Corin? Uh, what would you like to roll for, or what would make sense to roll, in your opinion, to do something like that? Hmm. Uh, trying to think. I mean, it has a bite attack, but I don't think I want to do a bite attack because it poisons it. 
Yeah, you definitely I mean, want to do that. It really needs to be poison. <laughs> um, Are you proficient in like, nature or something? Let me look at my skills. Giant roof spider. Let me look. You have web walker. Oh, you don't have the ability to shoot a web. Oh, I don't. Nope. Oh no. Can I uh can I use the rope that I actually have in my pack and hopefully uh, tie the thing up? Sure. Um I forget what they use for uh they replace use rope with. Uh use a do a dex check. And essentially, what your dex check is going to be doing is you're going to be trying to help uh, Lushu before the cat escapes out of the bag. I can paralyze it, but <laughs> that involves that poisoning it as well, so... Uh, I think we're good. <laughs> yeah, we'll say, uh... The cat gets out. Like, half of its body out and is about to get out. But Pancog had their rope uh, ready and was able to shimmy it around the bag real quick and uh now the cat's head is picking out and it is not happy it's hissing and it's angry and it is not okay with being captured right now well how much time has passed okay. because again the the valerian is a muscle relaxant mm -hmm. like very very strong and then the magnolia bark is the sleeping agent in that yeah it's only been a couple minutes um however um after all that has settled down you're you're able to notice in the corner of the alleyway there's a a little rustle going on under under some uh reeds and uh branches that are kind of oddly placed there's some rustling going on why would no schnookum babies oh god yeah maybe some schnookum bubbles gonna have to investigate all right, you're gonna go investigate then? Oh. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, too curious not to <laughs> Too curious not to know. All right. Um, uh, so who, who's walking up, I guess? All uh, right, I'm gonna walk up. You're gonna walk up? You're just kind of walking up? You're trying to be quiet or anything? Yeah, I'm gonna be quiet because although it's rush, rustling and it's small, it it may be bitey. It may be bitey. Okay. Um, you were able to... Uh, okay, go ahead and roll a, a stealth. To see if uh, you're able to sneak over there well enough. Is it babies? Nice. Oh, um, oh I hope so. Yeah, you were able to successfully, you know, wander on over there quietly. And you slowly lift up the branches. And you hear... And there's a oh my god there's a little kitty oh in there however it does not have six legs and it does not have the little tentacle nubs on its back it is a black cat from what you can tell um it is larger than you would have anticipate and uh you will notice uh there's a there, there's a little bit of blood uh, around the little makeshift den here. Cannibal cats. Um, Can I roll for perception? Uh, uh, sure. What are you perceiving? I'm just trying to see if the cat's like bleeding or anything. Oh. Like, like if it was <laughs> Could the cat currently be in labor or, or be giving birth yeah, at that's, this that's moment in thinking. time? If it's, yeah. sli if it's a slightly her... bigger cat than what we think, then may maybe. Birth. Um, yeah, go ahead and roll perception. <laughs> you guys roll 19s constantly. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you notice... Um, it's always, uh, Schnookums is not in labor, hasn't had any cats, um, but you do notice there is a, uh, there's a dead... You're cutting out. Am I cutting You're out? You're cutting out a lot, yeah. Am I losing frames? <laughs> I'm not dropping any frames. 
Uh, how? Am I still good? You sound right now, yeah. Okay. Yeah, for right now. Oh, now you guys are cutting out for me. Hello. I don't see my my internet's not fluctuating. I shouldn't be having a problem. Not sure what's going on. Checking uh, out. Like yeah. It's chilling in my lap, but I'm just here petting her. Wait, what? Are you talking in game or in real life? You were breaking up in for real me. life. Oh, okay. I thought so. Um, <laughs> we're gonna say all those cat sounds you hear is uh, Schnookums in the bag being very, very, very unhappy. Um, okay. Um, but you do notice uh, there is a a body of a baby or a kitten displacer beast. Or sorry, that, that's what they're called. Whatever. What you saw. Uh, you see, there is a a cub that is uh, dead. In the, on, next to this other kitten. And that's where the blood came from. Oh, that's good. Can I approach the animal and see if it's friendly? The, uh, the kitten that you see? Yes. Yes. Um, the Animal handling. So, Echo is there holding up the stuff and you kind of run over there. With some, sure, do go ahead and do uh, animal handling if you want. Yeah, um, the cat is obviously skittish right now um, because it just had its hidden area uh, revealed. Um, but it doesn't feel threatened enough to try to skitter away. Uh, it does kind of okay. raise itself up a little bit because it's more nervous, but it doesn't seem like it's going to actually attack. I hold up my hands uh, with my fingers towards myself. Uh, to let it sniff. Okay. Um, it kind of stays kind of hunched up a little bit, you know, but then slowly kind of comes over and does some sniffing and then, uh, kind of puts its head into your hand and, uh, starts nuzzling. What are you doing? Uh, Go ahead, and I pick it up, and I and I hold it to myself while petting it. Okay. Um, it lets out a. It lets out a little mew uh, as you pick it up. Um, here, I'm gonna roll. Um, oh yeah. Um, mama, mama cat hears that mew and uh, roll another. Hey, get a cookie. Get a, get a cookie. Oh god. Uh, roll another dex. Roll another dex check, Lushu. Uh, Mama cat. Oh God. Mama cat oh. heard uh, her baby, and she's upset. Uh, you okay. were able to successfully oh, snap and hold it back in. Meow, meow. Getting all feisty in the bag. She's not happy. However, uh, you can tell that the uh, the drugs are starting to kick in because the the fighting was a lot less. Uh, than it was earlier. So now, you have this strange Schnookums cat and this new kitten in your possession. What do you do? Uh, what do you guys think we should do? Well, first, if that is Schnookums kitten, mm. we need to be wary. Because although it may not have you know, the legs and the tendrils, um, et cetera, et cetera. Who's to say that one, two, three weeks' time they could sprout and we could have two of these beasts roaming um, the town? It could be a bit of a problem. Can I do a... So I think we should have the cat with us for a while. Maybe, yeah. Uh, you wanted to roll a perception, Pancock? Uh, to see if it's just uh, a mutated like displacer beast, or if it just doesn't have uh, like the displacer beast qualities. Um, I will let you choose between a perception and an animal handling and handling check to know that. <laughs> nice. Yes. Uh, cool. you you uh. Pick up the cat, and as, as it's uh, 
getting settled in and understanding that it's being held, you actually notice that it's actually not a displacer beast at all. It's actually a, a panther. That you're very... Oh. You're very confused as to why a displacer beast would take in a panther kitten or cub. You are my squishy, you are mine. And so... Um, <laughs> your name is Gideon. Now you have this cat with you. Yay. What do you guys do? Yay. I think the first thing we should do is probably feed it some food that uh, hasn't been drugged. <laughs> <laughs> do, maybe we should keep the kitten and train it. She ever. Yeah. I think that's what Panka oh, wants to do. Yeah, you can see it in her face. She's like, oh, well, I want the panther. I, want the I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, maybe we, we could hand it to Panka to train as she, she's got more animal. Yes. It's it's already been named. Because <laughs> Panka. Sure. Name is uh, Kitty, and it means little dark one. <laughs> Um, yeah, the cat seems, or the, the panther cub seems rather fond of you, Pan here, we'll roll, seems rather fond of you, and, uh, seems to kind of implicitly trust you. We're gonna say that you gave it some snackies, just so it would come, come to trust you more. Um, so now, that would be, heads up to the rest of the team, that's how Pancom gets her, uh, her beast companion. So now... Sounds good, that works, that works. Um, however, um, as you're observing the cat, you do notice a couple, like, um, interesting, uh, go ahead and roll Arcana, Pancock. Okay, uh, you notice there's some, uh, seems like there's a magical essence that has been imbued onto this cub, possibly from the Displacer Beast. You don't know what it is. But there's something different about this uh, panther cub than a, a normal so I have natural. A cat now. You what? I have a magical cat now. Uh, from what you understand, well, you don't know if it's magical, but you notice that uh, it has some sort of imbued magical property on it. You're not able to tell what it is, but uh, there's something a little more than natural for this uh, cub. So, what do we want to do with that? And I point at the bag that's no longer really twitching or moving. We definitely shouldn't give it back to that kid. I mean... <laughs> yeah. It's a hostile creature, like... <laughs> Is it hostile? I want to know um, cat. I mean, I mean, it's only been defensive so far, I think. think. I may have an idea. Wait, maybe we give it to the lady that sold us the uh, herbs, or maybe give it to the lady, or go as a to the lady and ask her. No, yeah, as a protector, or ask her maybe if she knows anyone that may take the cat in. As if she know, she was saying earlier she doesn't want her to bring harm to the cat mm -hmm. herself. Well, yeah, maybe you take it back to the herbalist, back to Gisela, see if she can possibly tame it with the use of some herbs to help her, like, wherever, wherever. And the cat could be, like, her companion, which helps guards all the herbs from any thieves or any animals which may be roaming around. That way she's happy because she's got a, a new cat friend. We're happy because the cat's gone somewhere nice and Pankog's got a pet yep. panther. <laughs> so she's happy regardless. Uh, I think, yeah, that would... Be a good idea, yeah. Maybe give win. the cat or see if what um, Gisela would recommend. Like maybe offer the cat, and if she won't take it, we can decide what we do afterwards. I guess. Or see if we she can uh, offer somewhere that will. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you guys are going over to, to Gisela. Mm -hmm. Yeah, preferably as fast as possible because I don't actually know when this will wear off. Okay. <laughs> <Quick>. Um. <laughs> You're making your way back to Gisela's, G Gisela, Gisela's uh, place of residence, and uh, you arrive, and uh, she opens the door to you and greets you all again. It's like, ah, oh, welcome back. Did you uh, accomplish? Uh, did you find Stockholm's? Yes. Yeah, we found the cute kitten. <laughs> and I, and I find <laughs> panther. I just kind of take the cat out. A um... wee bit in one. She ta she takes the yeah. the cub yeah. away from you and kind of snuggles it. 
<laughs> but that's not Schnookums. Schnookums is in the bag with uh, Lucio. And I kind of take out Schnookums by like, you know the scruff of the neck, so being like, big kitty, <laughs> and just kind of show it to oh, the herbalist. You did. You did. You found <clears throat> Schnookums. Very, very good of you. Have I? Have you let Sally know? No. Mm. We. The way that it was acting, it was acting fairly aggressive. So yeah, we, we don't think wise. it should be going to little girl. We don't think it's wise or safe. No. So we, we acting use, aggressive. Use... That doesn't sound like Schnookums at all. Maybe. Yeah. So maybe, maybe for the meantime, why um, Schnookums is acting out of character? Uh, maybe. She may stay somewhere else. Um, we were wondering if um, you could keep Schnookums or if you could um, tell us if you knew anyone that uh, Schnookums could stay with um, whilst we were um, figuring this out. Uh, we would be so thankful. Um, I would be more than happy to offer some gold. Uh, she 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 kind of looks at someone you. who can kind of train the cat. Yeah, she kind of looks at you, uh, confused, and says, "I believe this, this uh, the cat would like to go to Sally. It's her cat, and we've never had problems with her. She, she's a little strange and standoffish, but she, uh, her and Sally get along just fine." At which point, Lushu, still holding the cat, says, The, the drooling Look cat. At just bleh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. You've already said it's smaller. It will get bigger. Um, and do you really want little Sally's death on your conscience in case it gets too big? If it's already showing violent tendencies, it's going to get bigger. It's a displacer beast. So. Mm -hmm. I think for now, until maybe someone more capable, such as yourself, can tame the animal, I don't think a child um, should be interacting with a beast of this magnitude. That, yeah. So just, if um, Schnookums apparently got out and ran around for a while, even though it hasn't that we know of attacked anyone yet. Um, I mean, if it's showing violent tendencies, it can most likely, you know, attack people. It most likely might attack Sally. We don't know. We just, we think it's safer for Schnookums to stay with you for now. Sally can maybe come visit um, Schnookums, but we Maybe she, Sally can have the cat later after it's trained. I don't know, but we just don't want Sally hurt. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she, she thinks to herself for a minute and uh, says, "What kind of violent tendencies uh, are you referring to? We've never we've never seen any sort of violent tendencies come from this this little beast. Uh, sure, it's sure it's different than its normal kind, but." Uh, it's lived in this village for as long as we can remember. Never, never caused an ounce of problem. It took. It's I just kind of roll up my Sally. sleeves, and you see all these cat scratches, and be like, "Look." <laughs> she kind of looks at you and is well, like, "Well, you were trying to catch it, right? You were trying to force it to I do something that it had no desire to do. I would consider those I defensive turn, marks." And I, I whisper to her, "Should we tell her about the dead kitten?" The dead cub, the dead panther, uh, or the dead displacer beast cub. I think we should. Because, yeah. uh, we should tell her everything, to be fair. Because that could cause it to go into a more violent tendency, especially if it, if it had something to do with the <coughs> Well, first yeah. we should figure out what probably killed its cub, because there's no way that cat would just kill its own cub. So I'm thinking that something else killed it, and that is also why it's mad. But that doesn't explain mm. why it had a panther cub in its skin as well. Yeah. As far as you guys should tell is the the beast isn't angry or anything. It's angry because it got caught. 
by you guys, but it wasn't uh like an angry in general. You know what I mean? Had, had it been cursed by anyone? Was it under a curse or something? No, not as not or as that you can tell. It's a. Uh, it just seems like it was just living in the town, and the town kind of just adopted it and let it. You know, it wasn't causing issues, so they just kind of let it roam. Like it was. It's more. It's not necessarily a wild cat because it's taken with uh, Sally. But uh, it mostly just roams around the village and you know tries to catch rodents and mice and different kinds of vermin. But uh, in general, it's not caused any problems. So you're telling me uh, that uh, you've not had any issues with this cat? No issues of harm or anything like that? No, not at all. Not at all. It's always been a... Uh... What about towards other animals at all? Well, uh, cats? Smaller uh, cats? It's generally, it's a little reclusive and avoids other animals for the most part, but uh, in terms of all of us living here, none of us have had any, reported any problems. Well, we're so disturbed you. Uh, I, I tend to lose you and I kind of point back towards town. <laughs> okay, I guess we go and talk to Sally's dad right now and explain to him what we've seen. Oh. And Sally's dad also did not want the beast to come back. True. But maybe like Sally's dad can talk to Sally about it. If we explain to him what we've seen, he can explain it better than we can, I think. <clears throat> okay. Uh, sure. You guys right. are going to make your way back to uh, Sally or Sally's dad? Well, Sally's still in the tavern, right? With um, uh, uh, Belfany. Belfany. Mm -hmm. So uh, her dad <clears throat> should still be slightly drunk or very drunk now, considering it's towards the evening time, a little bit later. Um, so I think we should go and knock on his house first before going to the tavern. Oh, also, um, seeing as it is now late in the evening, what's going on with this merchant? Has there been any sign of our merchant friend? Because he, he appeared at the beginning, but do we see him anywhere in the town right now? No, you don't see him in the town at all. Um, from what you did see is uh, he was still off in the distance, and uh, he hasn't he hasn't set up his shop yet. Okay, so we still got some time. Can I just, so have we can I just, can I just say something? Um, sure. Uh, I don't think we per we need to go to Sally's dad per se because after talking to the herbalist, she said that the been no problems um the cat had never attacked anyone and never hurt any other animals um we've got no proof that the cat had hurt her that kitten in particular and we were meant to take the sally back uh, the cat back to sally anyway could we could go to the dad and say what happened Maybe I, um, the, the panther cub was also on its own after um, the displacer beast uh, kitten uh, died, and it maybe just wanted to take it in. Maybe. Um, so you, you're it... suggesting that we go take the the beast back to Sally. <laughs> Yeah, because maybe it was like, you know, maybe he scratches up an arm. Cat does that when it wants to get put down, right? Or playful, just violently. Yep. Or playful, yep. Uh, so after talking to the herbalist and the hearing that there's been no problems in town regarding the cat, the cat hasn't harmed anyone, um, etc. I don't really think we need to go to anyone else about it. I think we can just take the cat back. I'm with Echo. I second. Hi. Yeah. I think he just reluctantly agrees at this point. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, who are you heading off to? Sally. Sally. You're going to Sally. Sally. Okay. Uh, so you guys arrive uh, at the, the inn here. Uh, you open the door, and uh, you see... Uh, Sally is dancing around. Uh, Belthony, are, they're playing a, a little version of hide and seek. 
kind of thing. And you can tell Belthony is kind of getting tired after playing with this, uh, you know, little six-year-old for, you know, five or six hours. She seems to not run out of uh, energy, uh, but she kind of sees you walk in. She gives you like the sh sound because uh, Belthony's upstairs, and uh, <laughs> Sally is hiding behind some hanging blankets or whatever. But you obviously see her feet uh, because you know she's six. She's not hiding very well. But she sees you walk in. Shh. Be quiet. Shh. Don't tell her. Don't tell Belthony where I'm at. Um. Are yeah, I, I gotta stand right. in front. I can stand in front of the uh, where she's hiding to help hide her also because it is a bit adorable. Okay. So I'm just gonna stand there trying to where my feet are covering where her feet like are being seen so they don't see her there. Okay. Um. All of a sudden, uh, you hear. Uh, Here I come. Ready or not. And uh, Belthony, she's coming down the stairs. She's kind of getting tired, but you know what? She, the happiness that she gives Sally, she's putting up with it. And she's happy to make her smile. And she comes downstairs and she's surprised to see you guys there. Um, but as you step in front of uh, Sally Lushu, Sally notices uh, uh, Schnookum's uh, and knocked out. Oh, head, oh, head hanging out yeah. of the backpack. And she says, That's probably really bad. <laughs> she busts out from behind the curtain and startles uh, Belthony real quick. And she says, You found her! You found her! You found her! Give me, give me, give me! And she's doing grabby hands, reaching up, trying to get Schnookums out of your bag. <laughs> and then uh, Belthony comes up and it's like, You, er, I, uh, I assume that you found Schnookums. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Of the many hours, many attempts, we have finally found Schnookums. And we have him right in this bag. <laughs> Just for you. Uh, she kind of says, Well, that was very kind of you. As you can tell, uh, Sally was very much missing her pet. Uh, Balroy comes in from uh, working on the tandem leather. He's obviously sweating. Uh, mm. it's, it's about time that he's done working. And then it, he notices you guys in, as well. It's like, um, he doesn't notice that you have the, the cat or anything. She she sees um, Sally dancing around with uh, Lushu's bag now, which... We need to figure out where <laughs> your equipment is, Lucio. It's kind of just sitting on a it's roof still somewhere. On the roof. It's still, it's on, the, still it's on, the on the roof. roof. Okay. Yes, I know where it is. I'm gonna go back and get it. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Belroy comes in and he says, "Uh, uh oh, w welcome, friends. Uh, you, you you're here to stay another night, I'm assuming." Um. Before we answer that, does the the, the merchant wasn't he only a one day thing? And he was supposed to appear today, so I don't know if going to sleep now would be the best thing, because he's meant to be the shady merchant, so it would be late at night he would come out. Mm -hmm. So if we do agree to stay, I don't think now's the time to call it, to go to sleep. I, I need to get my gear anyway, um, from the roof. <laughs> I need so to get my gear from maybe, the roof. maybe when I go outside to, uh, to get my gear on the roof, I can have a quick spot and, and see how far away the merchant is. Because I'm pretty sure he has some wares that I'm definitely interested in. Because I'm a shady rogue, my dude. I need to be my shady gear. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So what are you what are you doing right now with uh, everyone in the room? I guess. Uh, well, I've ordered a drink. Uh, go ahead, Echo. Uh, I I guess I'm gonna book myself. Ooh in for the night, but I'm not going to go to my room for the night and order a drink. <laughs> I'm not going to end the night, but I'm going to make sure I've got somewhere to stay. I would Ooh, also like to drink with a go, maybe, but not go to my room. Yeah, you guys I mean, are... Yeah, like your, your room is sleep. paid for for the next couple days uh, because of uh, the, the help that you did around the town. Um, uh, I go up to the tavern owner and I request uh, some meat, half, you know, like a meal, and then some raw meat that is cut into strips. Uh, okay. Uh, he comes along up. with a drink. Um, Sally, or not Sally? Uh, Belson's like, oh, I I'd be happy to help with that. You you relax, Belroy. You relax. You've been working hard all day. And uh, B 
Bellroy's kind of taken back and he kind of just nods at Belsony. And, uh, thank you. And, uh, he kind of sits down after, you know, tanning some leather for eight hours or whatever. He's, he's kind of wiped out. Uh, I let, uh, Kyrian, uh, crawl from my shoulder onto the, uh, bar top to kind of just sit me sick. Um, so she's just hanging out with you? Yeah. Okay. Um, are you, did you guys order anything? I ordered food. And, and okay. Uh, I got food. I got I drink. I'll get food as well. I ordered um, some mead and some uh, just some meat, meat and some veg and some potatoes. I might order some uh, meat and uh, some uh, beer or whatever as well. Okay. Um, yeah, Belthony is going to go try to wrap those up for you guys. And uh, she quickly hustles out and set you guys up with some food um and uh <laughs> Sally's playing off in the distance and she's what what's what's wrong with what's wrong with snookums wake up snookums wake up what's wrong with snookums what'd you do to her I, I look like a Lucio and it's like it was your plan you no uh, let's look at Paco it's like it was your hopes it was uh, your hopes. My... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want I wanted to jump off the roof and capture it. You wanted to trap it. You wanted you wanted to get it all drunk on these sleepy herbs. Well at least <laughs> that's not dead. At least it's not hurt. It's just <laughs> just this. Your plan would have involved you getting maimed in the face. Ah, but it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I did it. <laughs> because I helped you the thing. Who well, helped me now? No. <laughs> help me now. <laughs> I just don't want to explain to a little girl why her pet is just on the floor, like half conscious, no, dude. <laughs> payback for you nearly trying to steal from my wallet in front of me. Well, keep an eye on your wallet in the future. <laughs> I turn towards. Uh, I turn like towards Sally. <laughs> And uh, just say that Snookums is sleeping at the moment. He's had a very long day. He's been running around all day. We've been running around chasing him. He's just tired. He'll be back to his normal self soon. He's had a long day playing, you know, running away and hiding from people and finding them. Uh, roll deception. Cool. Yeah, anyone that's talking to her. More cookies. Ooh, nice. Take off cookies. Um, yeah. Yeah, you were able to convince her, you know. And she's like, Aww. I haven't seen her in so long. Okay, I'll just let her sleep. Oh, oh, it's getting late. I, I need to go home. Bye, friends. How is she getting the cat there? Uh, she, she's, <laughs> she takes Lucius' bag. No, she doesn't. <laughs> She, she, uh, she <laughs> takes the <laughs> cat that's probably as big as her upper torso and, <laughs> and just kind of waddles on out and walks across the street, just back fully arched, trying to probably cat weighs as half as much as she does. And she kind of scuttles over and uh, goes home. And uh, Sally comes I, out. I believe I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking about all the legs flopping about all over the face. <laughs> yeah. Cat in, in the head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're moving around. It's now the issue. <laughs> now, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Sally comes out with your guys' uh, food and uh, drink. And uh, she she serves uh, Belroy uh a mug of beer real quick and uh, leans over and uh, tries to give him a kiss on the lips and uh, he just kind of tilts his head down a little bit and uh, she's kind of little she has a little bit of look of hurt in her eye and uh, goes back forward again and just kisses him like on the nose on the nosy if anyone gets that reference awesome points for you 
Um, anyway, kisses him on the nose, and uh, you can you can see the little bit of sunshine and spark of life that she has it fades for a, that short moment. She's a little upset, uh, but uh, she stands back up and shakes it off and perks right back up and comes saunters over and p s provides you guys your uh, your meal and stuff in smiles at you but in a smile that wasn't is not nearly as warm as it was before and it says i'm so sorry or i'm so sorry friends um it is getting late and uh looks like i'm gonna be going home tonight uh please enjoy your food i had to rush it i'm so sorry if it's not up to par i'll make it up to you but please and uh, enjoy your dinner and uh, I'll, I'll catch you guys uh maybe tomorrow and uh she serves you guys up your your food and uh quickly rushes out and uh, goes back home. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I, with my, I, I, I'm now with my bag again, so I kind of just like nods towards the others, telling them I'm going to leave and go and get my stuff um, <laughs> and look out for the merchant. So <laughs> I leave no the tavern. Bag. Huh? You have no bag. She... Sally took the bag. No, with I, that was no, the joke. She was, was carrying the cat. Yeah. She was carrying the cat. Yeah. So I've got my bag again. And um, so I climb up the top of the roof, and I start putting all my stuff back in, and I'm looking to see where, or how far along the merchant shop has gotten. But I'm guessing now it must be around early or late evening? It's starting to get late evening. It's about eight, seven o'clock. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, I'd say in about two or three hours, the shop should be up for business, shall I say. Well, it looks like so... it's, it's finally arrived where it's going to sit. Uh, it's obviously a, a big kind of wagon thing and it's turned sideways it looks like it's that's where it's going to set up but it is in progress of actually being unpacked and set up um but it's not okay it doesn't then. look like it's going to actually be officially so, wh open where tonight. is it from the tavern oh from the inn uh where it's is about it from 100 the tavern? yeah it's yeah. about 120 feet it's it's a it's a distance away okay then so now i know the direction of where he's setting up yep Okay, so I'll I'll get off the roof, um, having packed all my stuff and figured out where the merchant's going to be. Because uh, if he's not going to be set up tonight, at least his location is known. Um, I go back to the inn and I tell uh, Pancog, Echo, and Corin that I've seen um, I've seen the merchant. He's setting up his store at the moment, but unfortunately, he is not ready to sell wares. He should be ready by tomorrow. But we do know where he's setting up, so I can lead them to where he's setting up next time. Okay. Or the next day, that's what I meant. Uh, what, what are you uh, three that are in the, uh, the inn doing? Discussing... I, 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 I'm thinking about naming the, the little one that we have about with a pancog. She already named it. Yep. Oh, yeah, she already named it. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, just uh, like having She's a RPing general that you're coming up with names. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm asking, like, the reason behind it, etc., etc. You know, general chit chat to read. Okay. Uh, as we're talking, I am feeding strips of the raw meat that I requested to Kirian. Okay. Um. And also. My panther is male. Uh, Kitten is uh, more than happy to partake of these strips of meat and grabs them with its paws and <laughs> just munches them down. Gonna be a chunk. Um, okay. That is more, more pounce power. Belroy uh, slowly gets up from his stool and starts uh, cleaning uh around the inn uh take care of stuff and he comes and checks on you guys if uh you're done with your food and stuff and he's like is there anything else i can get you no i think we're good um, yeah i'm guessing the the shop in the inn is now closed as well it's a bit late for that to be open well so he, I just he's, since tomorrow, he's still down here he, he can uh sell you stuff Okay, let me check my oh, can. real quick. Um, 
Does he have anything of, um, like, does he have any sort of wares which immediately grab our attention? Or is it just general? He's a general stuff? store, so he doesn't have anything, uh, general. particularly okay. awesome. I don't uh, think so. Yeah. No. Is there anything that you've used from your bag that you might want to buy back? Your daggers, your daggers. No, no, I've got more daggers and weapons, I don't... Because oh. didn't you cut um, off your trousers? No, I didn't. Yeah, you're walking around in pants, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I took stuff out of the bag. Um, I think I'm good, to be fair, when it comes to buying stuff. Do I need to buy more rope, since I used my rope, or do I gain that back? Uh, you got that back. You didn't cut it up or okay. anything. Um, deal. Okay. Um, Belroy is kind of he's he's looking a little glum uh, compared to what he was the other day. Um, and since you guys don't want anything, he's like, "All right, well, uh, I'm happy to help. Uh, you know where you're 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 staying. Uh, if you need anything, I'm just you know, let me know." Is there anything we can help you with, sir? He kind of looks at you and uh, is kind of confused as to w what you're asking in particular about. He's like, uh, if you don't mind me asking, um, I just noticed you look kind of down. He, he kind of half-heartedly smirks. It's like, oh yeah, just uh, you know, everyday living. I suppose a man should be a. Uh, Yo, hold up. Um, we just got raided, guys. Big ol' raid from uh, our friend Spectre Dust. What's going on, mate, dude? I didn't know you were streaming. Hold on, we're gonna interrupt stream real quick to give a shout out. If you guys don't know Spectre Dust, he's an awesome, inc I'm more than awesome, he's an incredible artist. And uh, he's been playing uh, games a lot lately. Uh, definitely go give him a follow if you don't know about him yet. Um, oh, you're playing some Star Citizen? Rock on. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. I'm Vasive. This is Quarantine. Uh, we got a bunch of friends here that uh, I've met through some streams and uh, from streaming community. Trevors! Uh, Trevors. Thank you so much for the follow. Sorry, we're getting some distracting here. Um, thank you for the follow. Give them doggo some treats. Oh my gosh, unconventional gamers. Uh, normally, there's a doggo cam, and I feed the doggies treats and stuff. For uh, this kind of situation, but uh, we need to use the doggo cam for the friends playing here. We got uh, Miss Creation, uh, Pancake Mama, and some Serial Gamer here. We'll give them some shout outs as well. These are some of the friends that you can go follow them on stream. Holy crap, look at all these treats and follows coming in. Oh my gosh. All right, hold on. Here's some, there's some treaties, and here's some follows. Fragger's here. He's just been lurking for, for a while, I guess. Tabaxi Mug says hi. Heck yeah, man. Um, but I'm going to give some shout outs to people we're playing with right now. Uh, go give them a follow if you uh, so desire. Um, Miss Creation is the one playing Echo. And uh, Lushu is our good friend, Serial Gamer TV. Uh, these are some friends that I've met while streaming. We're playing an improv D&D uh, campaign, as you can tell. Uh, we kind of decided to throw it together with quarantine and stuff going on. Um, be sure to go follow all these friends and uh, I appreciate you hanging out <laughs> We're gonna be jumping right back into the action essentially what happened right now is they caught this cat that a little girl uh, Had lost and turned out to be a displacer beast if you're aware of D&D, &D, you know uh, how fun that could be And now we're into some uh, role play bits, but thank you so much for the raid uh, specter. You're awesome, dude I appreciate you um, Did I forget anything guys? I may have forgot something um, Normally, I'm a variety gamer. I guess it's it's a I should say, uh, every Saturday we play our campaign. We're missing a couple players uh, due to one of them having a baby three days ago. So, <laughs> uh, that's what we're doing here. Uh, appreciate you hanging out. Um, so, what just happened? You guys, oh, you're talking to Belroy. You're asking if he uh, needs any help. Um, you know, he says, or, um, he says, I guess uh, is it, it's just been a long, long few weeks and you know how it is, is, uh, things start to pile up on you. You know, it's just... Things aren't, uh, I, I should be, I should be excited, because, uh, the wedding is, uh, in a few days from now. But, uh, 
I don't know. I just feel kind of lost. You know what I mean? So... I instantly yeah. look up and buy him a drink. <laughs> uh, you're gonna buy him a drink? The guy that owns the inn? Yeah. <laughs> just to be like, look. <laughs> no, just, right. just take it, my dude. Here's a drink. All right, he, uh... I say, um... Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Go ahead. I say, um... Yes, I definitely um, know how that can feel, having things piled up on you, especially with a wedding and running a tavern. And... Um, he responds, uh, sorry, making sure things are good here. Um, he responds in a way, it's like, uh, the, nothing's really changed with, uh, the inn and stuff here. The business has been fine, but, uh, you know, just, I, I see my life going in a different direction than I had originally planned. And, uh, it's just kind of confusing. You know? Uh, what sort of direction did you think it would be going in by now? He kind of... Kind of takes a step back and uh, grabs a stool, pulls it over. You know what? We need a different sound effect. Hold on. Uh, we need to oh not gosh, be out. It's... We need to not be outside. <laughs> um, gonna get it. Here you go. Quiet tavern. Um, he kind of pulls it up and uh, he says, "Well, ever since uh, I was a child, uh, Belroy or uh, Belthony and I have." Uh, been slated to be married. And uh, up until a month or so ago, I've been completely content with that. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm i just uh, rambling now. It, it, it's no, uh, no, nothing for you guys to concern about. Uh, the wedding is scheduled for a week from now, and uh, I guess that that's just going to be what happens. And, uh, he gets up, he's, he kind of shakes his head confusing why he would even sit down and tell these strangers why he would actually be expressing these kind of feelings or emotions uh, for the time being. And uh, he's like, I think uh, I think I'm gonna go uh, go to sleep. Uh, get this off my mind. Thank you for the drink, sir. And uh, he kind of smirks at you just because he owns a place. He can drink whatever he wants but he appreciates the gesture. And uh this cheers and he finishes his drink. He says, uh, would you guys like your wake up call in the morning? No. Uh, I say, yeah, I'll take my wake up call. Okay. Thank I think, uh, Miss Creation's, uh, audio has gone wrong, by the way. Uh oh. Can you hear me now? Can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, right. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't hear anything for a solid like five minutes there. Okay. Uh, to quick take you. I will. All right. Go ahead. Uh, I will also request the wake up call. Okay. Very well, my friends. I'll catch you all in the morning. Sweet dreams. And uh, he heads back upstairs and uh, goes, or goes to go to sleep. And uh, you guys are left to finish your devices. And uh, he, he takes all your plates and uh, kind of just stores them uh, to be taken care of in the morning. Uh, yeah, well, after that, I say to the others, after a long day, I'm heading up to sleep. Because I've been tracing that cat for a long time as it is, and I just want to nap. <laughs> so I say goodnight to the others, and Lucio, yeah, he heads upstairs. Okay. Um, as I you start to head upstairs... As you start to head upstairs, Lucio, uh, you notice behind the bar, there is a bag full of letters. Oh, don't tempt me. Oh, I thought it was a gold. Oh, no, that would have been mine so quick. There's a bag full of letters. Um, that's all I'm going to tell you. And it's up to you. That wasn't there uh, yesterday. Uh, er, 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 sorry, when I say there's a bag full of letters, the bag was there yesterday. But... In his rush to go put the uh, your plates and uh, bowls and whatever away in uh, the area that he's going to wash it, um, he kind of bumps uh, that bag, and it doesn't immediately fall over. But once he's upstairs, it kind of 
leans and falls over, and uh, a couple open letters kind of spill out. Okay, do I see, from where I am, do I see any words or sentences, phrases that could be cause for concern? Uh, nothing that uh, you can tell where I mean, you're at. Yeah, okay, anything that peeks in. She's already nosy as it is. So, I think uh, I'll, I'll head back down the stairs. Um, kind of trying to stay out of the vision of the rest of the party because you know, I don't think they'd approve of me going through some random person's letters. Um, so yeah, I kind of try and sneak a couple of the letters away with me um, to the end of the bar whilst having one more drink. I guess, like the disguising having you know, actually are you... seeing what these letters are about. Alright, are you stealing that drink, I guess you'd ask? Or are you going to um, leave him some coin? So. Yeah. Uh, do you know, I, I feel bad for the dude because he's you know in a what? bad mood and I'm, I'm reading his letters. We, we did say that he is, uh, he said uh, your room and board is covered for the next few days, so we'll say that uh, he said help yourself. So I have the... three drinks. There you um... go. <laughs> help yourself. Yeah, so yeah, I'm at the end of the bar now uh, trying to read these letters to see what they say. Um. Um. So you're actually going to go to the letters. Mm hmm. Um. Sure. Okay. We'll say. Uh. You you pick one up and you notice. Uh. Actually, you just kind of sift through a few of them and you're looking at them and uh. You realize. Um. It seems to be. Uh. They were like more of a, a pen pal kind of letters at first, but uh. They start growing more and more. Uh. I guess you say. Uh. Romantic. Uh, between the two people. And, uh... Hmm. How are we gonna see this? Is there, is there a name? Like, is there a from? Um... There's a, a dash M at the end of all the letters that I've received. And, um, they are... They start with the, like, basic pen pals. They get to know each other, it seems. And, uh... It seems... The uh, it's addressed to B, and uh, they are various romantic letters. Uh, as the, the the letters go on, you find some that are a lot more romantic, and one of them piques your interest. It seems to be uh, M is asking uh, to meet at some point. Okay. So I'm guessing it's a secret lover. Like, I'm guessing this is like the uh, the age of arranged marriage, even though he's like an adult now at this point, Belroy. He owns a tavern, for Christ's sake. Um, I'm guessing he's being forced in a way to marry someone, which is what he would mean by not having my life be the way I planned it. Um, being forced to marry someone rather than um, being with the person who he actually cares about, which is M. Um, have we met anyone whose name begins with M yet? No. I don't think we have. No, okay then, so it's a brand new character. Um, I kind of take the letter from the bar over to the table where the others are still are, I'm guessing, um, and just kind of slam it down on the table and say, so guys, what do you think of this? Maybe this has something to do with Belroy's bad mood. And just well, slide the letter. Well, first of all, why are you going the poor man's letters? I don't think we should be going through the person's letters um i say that's okay and um from my bag i i, I pull okay. out um i i i pull, I, I pull out Cor i pull out um corin and pancog's wallets uh it's like no one will see me and throw them back onto the table uh to give them back this is a little dig <laughs> you, you were feeding your pet you were feeding yes. your pet but i'm pretty sure why did you steal my wallet <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're gonna steal Pancog's wallet. Uh, uh, here we are. Of course, we, he's upset. Here we, we are. You should technically, you should technically have to roll for that. Each of you. Thank you. So Pancog and uh, Corin each roll a perception. Actually, no. Sorry, Lucio, you just roll sleight of hand twice. Okay. And just determine which roll, okay. which roll is for each. Oh, hang on one second. I uh, don't count that roll because that was a misroll. Um, I found something out on my thing earlier. Bear with me. Mm -hmm. It actually gives me something extra when using something I'm proficient in. 
uh, that's it. Yeah, um, my proficiency bonus is doubled um, when you make an ability check for two chosen. Oh wait, two chosen. Oh, mine's perception. I have to choose. It's not perception. All right, ignore me. Okay. I'll yeah, I was gonna say, one. holy crap, Sorry, that's nasty. There we go. That would be nasty. Yeah. One sixteen and one. Oh, I thought it was going to be a one. I, oh, I saw the one, <laughs> and it just it tilted over to the two. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, yeah. Wow. Give me your wallet. <laughs> so, uh, which one? Uh, which, you this time. I'll ask which number <laughs> you apply to who. Uh, oh, well. Um, I apply the... You're trying to steal it, too? I apply the seven to um, one. Corin. Yes. Okay. So, so seven versus three. Okay. And I apply the sixteen to um, Pancog. Pancog. All right. Pancog. What is your uh, passive perception? Oh, uh, eleven. Okay. Um, and Corin is twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, you you notice Lucy doing something weird with uh, your bag or whatever? And you, you're just kind of you kind of give him a weird look. Don't know what's going on. Uh, but you successfully do take Pancog's wallet. Oh. <sighs> but remember, I did throw it back on the table to prove my point. Of it's okay. Don't worry. I'm thinking. Did you not remember what I bought earlier from the herbalist? <laughs> yeah, I can. I, I, I can take a day of shitting. That's right. Kill you don't know when it might happen. It might happen mid quest. She's gonna poison your ass, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna give you that laxative, and that's gonna be fun in combat. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. That's all right. Literal shit here. Well, in that pants. case, I just won't give back the wallet. <laughs> How much gold do you have in your wallet? I'm gonna keep it now instead. Um, no, I, I, I told it right. Sixty-seven to gold, right? The wallet again. I have. I've gestured towards Kyrian to go and sit on it. To go and sit. Oh, I've already got it. I've, I've already successfully picked yeah, it. Yeah, you did. Already... I'm you gonna say that she knows how much money she has. So if you take any, she's definitely gonna know. All right, then. Should I roll a sleight of hand against the speed of the um, animal? <laughs> if my sleight of hand is faster than the acrobatics, I don't know, of the animal or or her animal handling, maybe? I could then snatch it back. Uh, you're going to try to snatch it back? All right. Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm upset now. I'm going to make it back. I can't believe we're having to roll <laughs> I'm gonna take for all this. Goal. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Call me petty. I am. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I'm eating good tonight, lads. Trust me. <laughs> so, what am I rolling? Uh, if Kyrian bites the crap well, out of him. I'm gonna. We're gonna be rolling for <laughs> Kyrian. If I can freaking find the character. This could go on forever. You could be snatching this back and forth for like the rest of this campaign. I can't believe this it. This could go on and on. Alright. <laughs> Open this. Stupid Ask Lushu, I thing. say, did you steal all my money and you start to see a little sparks of electricity come out right. a little bit from all right. No, no, I, I look at you and say, it's not all of your money. All right, <laughs> you, you gotta roll a sleight of hand, uh, Lushu. Me? Okay. Yep. Oh, watch, here comes the one. Ready? Here comes the one, dude. Oh, that <laughs> yep, sucks for you. All right, just yeah. roll. Uh, yeah, you fail. <laughs> The, the cat sees you kind of... It, it senses uh, your... How are we going to say? Uh, your ill intent. And uh, kind of... And kind of swats at your hand. <laughs> so, yeah, you fail that. <laughs> we just got off track. What were you doing? Oh, you brought over so these letters. Now? You brought over these oh, letters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did his letters, and then he decided that he wanted to attempt to steal me Lauren's wallet. Well, Lucia was more concerned over the fact that people were worried about letters more than the facts about this poor guy who's clearly upset and wanted to help the dude. <laughs> but it's none of our business. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should read the letters because the letters are there for a reason. 
That's that would be my argument as Lushu. Like, why, if it's none of our business, why were we asking questions and asking yeah. him why he's upset? So we I, clearly I want to help him. It is so, <laughs> I think for the sake letters. of stealing some letters, I think it's a bit like you know redundant now. I think more. <laughs> I think we're I don't, worried. About Valorant. I don't think we should okay. steal them. Perhaps I've got an idea. I, I've, I've already happened, journal, so I've I've, done I've, this. <laughs> I've got an idea though. I've got a journal. We could write them down in my journal and then take them back so that, that so that they don't go on from him. That's like fifty letters. Oh, I never, I never said I was going to keep them. Like, the 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 they were on the. I thought you no, that one particular, that one long particular of them meeting. I think. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Is there a way to magically just handwrite or, or magically just write down everything? Just use I, magic. I have a wand. I don't know if that does anything. No, they're, 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 you oh. know, I don't think you have any skills to <laughs> magically transcribe a bunch of letters. I, uh, uh. Oh. I don't think we should get involved. I mean, honestly, this is more of a w lover's quarrel than anything that we need to involve ourselves with. We are here to... We got the cat, we've helped the town, we're waiting for the merchant. If you I get think... involved in this, you might get more rumors about you being pervert. I think Lushu looks should... up and says, I'll be doing this by myself then. So Lushu will look for this person and try and help. Lushu, the... I think we should just let the the guy literally tell this other girl that um loves him how he feels about her. Like if well, he doesn't he doesn't like who's against it. So I'm guessing me and Corin are gonna help the tavern master. Is Echo gonna help or? I'm gonna help. I'm 100% okay, gonna help. Uh, like I said, I want, I want <laughs> to help. There we go. Help. Help him out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I kind of nod towards everyone, being like, okay, like, you know, and I look towards Panko, are you sure you don't want to help us? If there's a man that's upset and needs help, and he's help getting him? forced to marry I mean, someone, I don't mind helping, help. but we should probably return the letters. <laughs> oh, no, I never said I'd keep the letters. I just showed them to you on the table. I never said I was gonna keep them. I just took them to read. So you're gonna put them back? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Okay. All right. I'll, uh, you, yeah, you, you put them back. Um. So that's where you guys are sitting right now. Um, you go to bed. What do you do? Because Belroy's gone to sleep. I, I look at Lucio and I look at Echo. Whatever you do, it is on the both of you. But I'm going to bed and I am taking my cat and my wallet. Lucio. I would sleep with one eye open. <laughs> so you will not have to, decide to get to my revenge. Especially I just look up. Your friend does not Bring hear. Toilet paper, please. Before, before Pancock, before Pancock goes to to sleep, I say, I whisper to her, I say, if you ever plan to like, you know, like, kind of like, poison him or whatever, I'll help you. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna uh, shoot your pants will... in the future. <laughs> It's gonna be. Oh, I've got, I got, I got, I got a little plan. It's okay. I've got a little plan. You got a plan to not shoot your that. pants from the laxative she's gonna give you. Oh no, I've, I've, I've got, I've got a plan of revenge. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it's all, it's all up here. It's all ready to go. All right. I just, um, I need to do some research for some items in the game, so I know what each one does. But I got an idea of what I want. <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, you, you guys go to bed. Um, yeah, yeah, unless anything uh, wakes me up during the night, yes. Oh, sorry, I was muted. Okay. Um, uh, you guys wake up in the morning. I, or you have a good night's sleep. Lucio is uh, maybe a little bit less good night because uh, now you're looking over your shoulder uh, for people <laughs> spiking your whatever. Or, you know, coming up and strangling you in your sleep. <laughs> um uh hold on can i do a perception to see if Lushu took any of my money <laughs> uh he, he didn't you he, he, you were able to see that okay. he wasn't able to okay. do it so then i probably wouldn't but still i corn would be still a bit upset about him taking um her wallet <laughs> <laughs> all right um, okay. Yeah, you, you, 
<laughs> it's just okay. Yeah, okay, you guys wake up in the morning and, uh... But you wake up, and, uh, Belroy did not come give you guys your wake-up call. You wake up to some rustling downstairs, and, uh, some humming and singing to themselves. Just... And then you hear, uh, rustling downstairs, and which you would assume would be Belroy, although it is later than you had anticipated. And, uh, you kind of head downstairs, and it, Belthony is, uh, kind of picking up, uh, the, uh, the mugs and stuff from last night. And, uh, tidying up, getting ready for the day's work. Uh, I wake up and I walk down the stairs, and upon seeing her, I, I greet her. Good morning! Uh, okay. She's like, oh, you startled me. Good morning, friends. I'm just, just give me a minute. I'm going to tidy all this up real quick and uh, I can get you some breakfast. So she starts shuffling her and uh, starts scrubbing stuff quickly and continues her, her sing song and humming voice. And she, she shuffles Good morning, over. everyone. Shuffles over to you guys quickly. What can I get you? Uh, what, whatever is on the, whatever you are cooking for breakfast, it does not matter to me. Uh, I would appreciate though some raw meat for my panther. Oh, you make my life so easy. Yes, I uh, I'll go whip you up some eggs and some nice slices of bacon. How's that sound? I knew this little delicious. cutest little bundle right here. I would love some uh, bacon and eggs. That would be delightful. Coming right up. She guys then goes and skips to the kitchen. And you hear banging on some, you know, pots and pans and <sighs> little curse words here and there because she kind of drops a pan on the floor. Don't worry, I washed it. And then it keeps making some food and then she comes out with a some a bunch of plates she's holding them all across her shoulders and arms here it's very impressive it's like and bon appetit that makes no sense they don't speak french but that works <laughs> you know she comes out like can i get you anything else kind of does her hand hip thing i can i also have a saucer of milk of course, of course. I'll go get some uh, from the cow right out back and uh, be back in two shakes of this kitten's tail. She goes over and she's going to bring you some fresh milk. Uh, she'll be back in a couple minutes. Uh, do you guys do anything I, in the meantime? I, uh, I turn to Echo and I turn to Corn and I wish them a good morning. Ignoring Luchu. <laughs> Ignoring <laughs> Luchu. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what else do you guys do? You guys just kind of um, greet each other? Yeah, I, I kind of state it. It seems that uh, the tavern owner is not here. Yes, it does what seem like that. Want? It's really quiet as well. And is it me or is she in a really happier mood than she was? She does seem to be. What did you do, Lushu? I feel like you were involved. <laughs> you, nothing. Nothing. I just look up and say nothing and go back to my food. <laughs> Can I roll a perception check to see if he's lying? Uh, sure. I mean, he's not lying, but yes. Yeah, I mean, how? <laughs> oh. uh, I failed anyway. It, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's You know that he's not lying. Um, out of character, uh gonna ask did we do would we have known anything about like um the tavern or the inn owner um this person wanting to meet them would we have like known that or read that or uh you're asking if Belroy mm -hmm. knows about these letters Oh no, like if we...
would have like read about um this person uh named M or whatever mm -hmm. um signed M uh wanting to meet Belroy. Had the lovers in the letter is arranged to meet. Yeah. Um. What you gather from it seems to be the most recent letter. Um, that was the last letter that was received. Is they would they've uh, proposed meeting. I was gonna say if we if in character if we know about it, um, Corin would assume that that's probably where Belroy went, or either um, that he could be in some kind of trouble. Lucia did this letter yeah. to partake in, I'm not going to say the real word at the moment, just in case, uh, Be Bellamy walks in and hears us discussing this, uh, did it have a date on when they were planning to meet and where? Lucia just ignores oh, yeah. you. <laughs> Lucia just ignores you. Uh, okay. Full ignores okay. you. So then Echo um, uh, repeats the question. The attention's still there. You know, the attention's still there, my dude. Echo repeats the question. <laughs> hey, good morning to me. I'm ignoring you. But, um, I said the date. Um, it didn't say a date, but I think it said a day? Didn't it say a day on the letter? Not an actual date. I think it was, was it a Saturday? Uh, there's if actually... I remember right. There's no day or anything. Um, you don't... The letter that you read is it's, it's proposing that they meet. You haven't seen a letter of actually confirming a date, and you don't know if there's... Obviously, you don't know of an outgoing letter. So you don't actually the, the, know the, if this has actually yeah. happened yet, or they planned a date. Place, a meeting place that she is proposing. Uh, it doesn't say anything about that, because this is more of a proposal, like, hey, would you like to meet? So there's no plans of where, when... Or anything like that. So she was asking him. Hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, does it say, maybe he went to find her. It looks, like, it looks like it looks like he went to look for her. I would. By all means, uh, let's go look for him where he would look for her. Basically, I think we should go look for Belroy. Do we have any general like idea of where though? Because like the yeah. letter didn't say anything. Nor did Belroy even say to anyone. I'm guessing. Well, we could ask Belthony if she's still there. If he mentioned oh, yeah. speaking leaving, of Belthony, or maybe he's had, yeah. speaking of Belthony, um, she comes in with the milk for Pancog. Like milk for you and the little schnookums. I, I forgot call. to ask for tea. I, I should, need tea. I shouldn't be calling her schnookums at all. What's her cutest little name? Is it him? You said it was well, him. So, yep. Okay. His name is uh, Kirian. It is a. Uh, it means little dark one. Oh my goodness! That is just adorable. I love him. Gives him some chin scratches. Um, Belthony. Um, we um asked uh Belroy last night to um wake some of our uh, party members, but we haven't seen him this morning. Do you know where he might have went? She kind of, uh... Her, her little glow of life kind of subsides for a quick second, and, uh, like, I don't believe he's, uh... Or, I don't believe he's, uh... Come waking up yet. I think he's still sleeping. Uh, I, I came in early to, uh, Give him a hand with some chores. It's uh, very unlike him to leave a mess from uh, meals and stuff out like this. But uh, I, I think I'm, I'll let him sleep in today. Okay. Hmm. Well, Echo, Lu Shu, this is what she wanted. You wanted to get involved. Yep. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, she hears you say that out loud. So she's like, involved, involved, involved with what? Is Belroy okay? Cards. About what? What'd you say? Yes. Belroy oh. is 
perfectly fine. I, I am trying to persuade her to focus on something else. But... Oh, we were talking about the 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 the, the, the kitten. Hmm. It was very bitey. <laughs> very bitey. We just think Belroy might have uh, seemed uh, like he he just seemed like he was sick or he was tired or yeah, you know i just remembered our dragonborn doesn't know the complexities of lying to people about feeling oh you know sure. what i don't sure. <laughs> damn it um we will say that she was able to gather that uh he, he's obviously down because he alluded to it but then he just kind of changed his mind um uh beltany kind of takes a, a deep breath in. Not like a, a sigh breath, but a, like she has to hold something back, and she says, Yeah, um, he's been getting increasingly distant, and uh, seems more and more depressed. It's like, he's, he, I'm, I'm worried about him. I mean, the wedding is in a, a few days, but I, I just want him to be happy. And and that's very understandable. <laughs> when was his wedding date? Oh. You. Uh, oh, we're coming up. I'm sure you're all very excited. Uh, yeah, our wedding is uh, in about eight days from now. Oh, so that's oh. very close. Mm. <laughs> I uh. I ask her, do you, would you like to uh, feed Kirian? Maybe it'll help boost your mood. Uh, she realizes that uh, she seems down and she straightens herself back up and perks herself back up. It's like, oh, my dear, what do you mean? I'm, I am perfectly fine. Well, uh, I, I kind of gesture at Kirian like, hey, go, go give her some love. Uh, Tyrion kind of looks at you strangely. It, you haven't been around each other long enough yet for him to understand some of uh, these kind of <laughs> commands. And plus, you have True. food. You have True. the foods. So he's just looking at you I, like, uh, you're I, gonna give me more I, of that? I, <laughs> I can't push the plate full of food still in front of her. Oh, okay. Uh, Tyrion to get, like, to get his attention. What is like kind of is like the hell are you doing with the food? Prances on over, across the table, and uh, sits down and starts uh, eating the food, looking up the the milk. And uh, Belthony kind of gives it a quick pat, does a nice big smile, uh, but doesn't say anything. So, how do you guys want to go about? I think, he cut off. Um, oh crap. Well, it, look, well, well, let's put it this way. It's eight days before his wedding. We found love letters between him and another woman that lived somewhere else. He was, they arranged a meeting somewhere. The wedding is due soon. If he was going to meet the woman, it would be within the next few days. So he's gone missing. He would be at that place, and he was down. Then he's he would be there. I sure agree that? with Echo. I kind of think we've already been told that this town. There's no other town around it. Like this town is a self knit town. It's by itself. Mm -hmm. So that either means one of two things. One, he's still in the town, somewhere in the town with someone, or he has left the town. So I think what we should do is if we have a little bit of a nose around, see if any of his personal belongings that he wouldn't leave, uh, if they're still there, we know he's in the town and we can narrow our search that way. If he's taken supplies, they, we know he would have left for a few days. So if his wedding yeah. was eight days away, maybe travel to the next town would take one or two days. Um, so he'd have to allow himself a few days to be able to get back. I would say, would I be able to search um, like just around the area, maybe behind the bar sort of thing? Because, you know, we've got full board and drinks. So I'm just going to make the excuse I'm going back there for a drink. Um, Is there a stable we... in this town? 
Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, yeah, there's a stable. Um, as you guys are discussing this amongst yourself, Bellroy comes down the stairs. He was just sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> he, he says, it's like, oh, he's kind of shook up. He, he, he's putting on a, he's still putting on his overshirt. Um, obviously kind of a little bit of distress just because, uh, he obviously woke up late and he noticed that you guys aren't in your rooms and uh, he comes down and he's like, uh, he feels a little, uh, unprofessional from this. Like, uh, I'm so sorry, friends. Uh, I don't, I don't know what came over me. Uh, Apparently, I'm I'm exhausted, and I just needed the rest. I, I apologize. Can I get you some bre- He notices that uh, you've already been served breakfast, and he says, uh, Beltany has uh, taken care of you, I presume. Yes, and she's done fantastic so far. No complaints. Um, he has a concern to wait. He says, uh, he kind of nods a little bit to himself. He's like, Beltany's a good woman. Uh, any man would be lucky to to marry her. He kind of says that with a little less heft in his voice as someone that would be uh, on the bridge to marrying someone. It's like, she may be delicate, but uh, she could be delicate like an alchemist's uh, concoction. She can be very explosive, but calm like a sunset, sunset thunderous like a th uh, summer storm. She's a, she's a great woman, that one. And in, in, in my head, uh, I'm thinking, I don't know, but for some reason, I'm not entirely sure that the pen pal was another female. You say that in front of him? No. Oh, I'm gosh. Thinking. You what? Bangkok, you what'd you say? You broke up. I, I said I'm thinking it in my head. Oh, got you. Okay. No. It's like Pancog, you gonna cause a, a argument between these two? Um. Okay. <laughs> um, We're gonna have to get out of the room. Vibe that he doesn't exactly want to be with a, a, this woman, so I don't know. I mean, yeah. Uh, Beltany comes back into the room and notices Bellroy's up, and he's like, uh. uh Oh, hi, dear. And she comes over, and uh, she's a good foot shorter than him. And uh, she kind of... Uh, she loses her uh, spring in her step a little bit and just kind of walks over to him and uh, stands on her tippy toes and gives him a, a quick smooch on the lips. Um, he just kind of receives it. It doesn't seem to be actively kissing her back, but he doesn't stop it either. He's like, uh, good morning. Did you sleep well? Well enough. It's like, uh... I'm gonna go get ready for, uh... The morning chores. I'm already... I'm already behind. Uh, woke <clears throat> up late. Uh, so, if you excuse me, friends, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get back to work. Is there anything I can get you? No. Not, nothing that I know of at the moment. What about you guys? Um, I ask him what potions he has available at his shop. Oh, you, you, you'll want to talk to uh, Gisela. She she would be our uh, potion maker. Oh, okay. Well, I say I want nothing else from you. Wish Belroy a good day, and um, I go off to the herbalist to see if I can get some poison. Uh, poison potions. That's the one. Uh, I would. You currently have three kind of each. Yeah, but I'm talking about other potions, like strength potions, oh, not like okay. health potions. I mean, like strength, anything that could give something of an advantage later on. Uh, seeing as we're right near her now, I think it'd be best if we pick up what we can, because if this is going to be like, you know, one of those adventure adventures with Belroy, then I want to make sure that we're stocked. So I'd rather have... Um, so yeah. I'll be looking up some potions, etc. and some of them are like really rare, so I'm guessing that won't be on there. Um, <clears throat> but like the lower ones, just like the strength one and... Maybe just little things like that that could help. Does like, she them. also have, like, healing potions? I mean, of course, I probably won't need them, but... Yeah, she could probably uh, whip you up some healing potions. We're, I'll have to look up the... I figured uh, I could pick some up for, like, 
the rest of the party members, maybe. Um, Just so that some potions can't be used by certain levels. So we're level yeah. three, so oh, some of these probably. we can't use. <laughs> yeah, and some of them are. Um, I've actually a little found more rare. a Word document. If I send to Discord real quick, I'll send a. Uh, put it in thingy chat. It's a full Word document of every single um, potion in 5e. Oh, nice. Uh, that's what I'm looking at now. So it tells nice. you the rarity, what it does, what it, like how long it takes to make it, if you do make it, and the amount of damage. It tells you everything about the potions. So oh, that's perfect. It's in there now. Okay. Because the <clears throat> my thing is not Where's opening the way it should. My Discord has disappeared. Even though it's no, open. open. Can we take a two minute break real quick? To I was going to say, go to you guys want to. I, I, I got, I'm like getting the shake or like the wiggles because I got a heckin' pee. So, yeah, I'm gonna make a cup of tea or something. All right, uh, everyone, <laughs> let's take a, a quick five minute break. Uh, we'll be back. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you in five minutes, and uh, we'll be right back. Enjoy some goofy clips from the channel. Uh, we'll see you shortly, my friends. Oh, yeah, I forgot to start the recording. Um, well. Technically, uh, for helping out in the town, uh, you're getting free room and board. Oh, for all of you. Yeah, that's, However, yeah. you never okay. did go claim your reward for tearing, uh, turning in schnookums. You're right. And it, it, was, it was several months worth of money. Mm. Yeah, because it kept accumulating, didn't it? Everyone, every time someone failed, it kept increasing it. And I, I remember it was as something far as you know, was yes. over... Yeah, what was the price? It was something like 100 and something, wasn't it? Wasn't it each? Uh, so did, the actual thing was like 300 gold, but it was like split between everyone. It didn't actually uh, like see a price. It just like was scribbled oh, on really? like, um, please help find my cat and uh, okay. help me in. Well, I'll, do you guys I'll, I'll think you we should go and stuff. see Sally and her dad? The first thing, because if we go and see them first, we would have more money uh, to spend on provisions, like, you know, more armor, potions, etc., etc. Uh, for when we go on our next uh, little adventure. Um, also, how's the merchant getting along now? Uh, how's his shop? Belroy. Is he in front of no, you? Not, not, not him. The, the hidden merchant. The mystery merchant. The shady oh, yeah, merchant. Yeah. The guy who was setting up his, shop. Uh, how's his... that going on? It's uh, obviously, it looks like the person is asleep in uh, their thing. It looks like it's getting pretty well set up. Um, there seems to be more stuff laid about. Um, but they're, it's daytime. They're not open. Okay. Okay then. But uh, uh, yeah, we can start playing. Go and see Sally and her dad as soon as we leave the inn. Um, you're not gonna talk to uh, Belroy or Belsony anymore. Wait, did I say Belsony left? Yeah, she she's skedaddled. Um. Oh, Belsony left. Okay. Um. Well, what what do you guys think? Should we? Pry more into the Belroy thing, or should we go and hand in and maybe come back to it later? Um, but then we only have eight days before the wedding, so we kind of need to, I don't know, think of time here. What do you guys think? Uh, I already stated what I thought last night. If you and Echo want to get involved uh, with getting in the middle of two people, that's on you. <sighs> So what does Echo like and say? Oh. I would like to go see uh, Sally's dad, um, because I, I I'm not I can't remember if he said we were gonna get a reward, but I mean if he said before if we were gonna get a reward then. Oh, um, seeing as we're still in the tavern, I think yeah. you should take the um the poster. Because it said reward on the poster, so if he does try to worm out of it, you've got the poster on you to say no. Look, it says yeah, yeah. reward. So yeah, I think you should take it. That might be good. But what does yeah. Echo think? Um, I agree. I think we should claim the reward. And um, as far as the letters and the wedding, um, I'm not sure. I think we all need to think about it um <laughs> um if he's a... oh no keep you keep going sorry i'm sorry uh, it's okay i mean if he's no you carry on because i i 
I had no idea. I was just going to say, um, is there any way that we can, I mean, like, if we're, if we're going to, you know, which we probably, we pretty much know why this guy's unhappy, but, um, isn't there a way we can maybe out this, uh, I don't know, affair, except us, n us not outing it? Like, is there any way well, we how can about just maybe leave the letters out in the open or something and the other girl find them or, you know, maybe it sorts out itself? I don't know. Well, I think we, we all know about it now. And, yeah. Um, Lushu, I think he'd, he'd be going along with everyone else at this point. He'd just want to get his gold because, you know, he's a greedy rogue like that. <laughs> so um, he kind of like agrees to go to see Sally and her dad. But um, Lushu, I, I do mention maybe we should keep an eye on things in case things get a little bit more dramatic. Then maybe we step in. Um, because, you know, it, it might. It might. But if. If it gets to a point where we can see someone seriously getting hurt, injured, or anything like that, maybe we should step in. We have the knowledge. We've got the free knowledge. We know. We've got time to think about what to do. Yeah. So, I reckon, yes. Now we're going to see Kelly in the back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I suggest that after we deal with... Sally's father, with the, the cat, returning the cat, we should go and see the herbalist to go look yeah. for Okay. So I'm guessing she'll only have level one potions available because the next one's level five. Yeah. And um, we obviously haven't leveled up yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Oh, it's a shame I can't sort these into like. I know, that's level. what I said. That's annoying. It's so annoying. But there's still some good level one potions, though. Okay, so I guess um, we leave. We thank, um, well, I guess we thank Belroy for the food because Belfany's no longer there. Um, she's skedaddled. Um, and yeah, Lushu leaves at the front door ready to go to Sally's. Um, okay, are you all going? Yes. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay, um, so, uh, it's about 11 a.m. Uh, you knock on the door and uh, Sally answers the door. And uh, says, Good morning, friends! Thank you so much for finding Snookums. Hey, I I got you your, your I got you your presents for finding her. Hold on a minute. And she shuts the door back on you. And uh, before she shuts the door, you were able to notice that uh, her dad is lounging in his chair <laughs> and he's got he's got a bottle hanging off of him he's obviously sleeping off his hangover and uh sally comes back out in a second and she keep, gives each and every one of you a very special drawing that she drew for you guys you're you're, you're her heroes for bringing back schnookums she has, she has drawings of you guys like finding schnookums and she has another drawing of you got uh lushu uh, having schnookums in, in your pack and uh, all the hearts going off of Sally's head and she's so happy to see it and she draws various things of you guys um, going to find her and various adventures. She has another one where you guys are fighting a big troll to rescue her schnookums and bring it back to her. Is there anywhere, any way I could have that tattooed onto my body as my character? Like, so her, like, her, 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 her five-year-old like, drawing? That, that I have eggs so in my dude. bag. That's I have eggs so in my bag. <laughs> in my inventory. I actually dude. have it in my inventory. Oh, that's worth more than gold, dude. Uh, you, you, do, you are able to notice that uh, through the various... Very, very little draw or uh, letters written on uh, stuff like with your names on them and guessing how it's spelled. And uh, the, the shaky kind of writing that... The reward poster was made by her. You kind of originally thought it was made by the dad because he's drunk all the time that, you know, had drunk unsteady hand. And you can't spell when he's drunk. She's the one that made the reward poster. And these are her pride and joy making these uh, drawings for you. These, this is your reward. She is very happy and excited to give you this as your reward. Lushu 
just take you know, a tear, just one tear <laughs> drops. <laughs> like some, something has changed in Lushu. Like, in that <laughs> moment, he just he's, like the, the whole not trusting thing has kind of gone down a hell of a lot. <laughs> uh, just with that little girl, that was, that was just beyond adorable. Uh, so Lushu is more than content with his picture. Uh, you wouldn't guess he was, he's a rogue, but he is more than content with that as his prize right there. <laughs> Echo, nicely. Oh, I, I, I am more than happy. I am over the moon. Best day ever. I am having the best day ever. <laughs> uh, but seriously, what just happened? She, uh, and, and she, she gives them to me and she sees that your guys' face and she's got this big old eye smile grin. Like, she's smiling with her eyes and she's so excited and she's carrying... Snook comes with her and says, Thank you again! We're gonna go play! You know, she kind of is carrying Snook comes. So the cat seems fine now, not. Oh, yeah, she's uh, happy. Aggressive or anything. Uh, right, okay. Cat's awesome. fine with her, and uh, she kind of puts her down and says, Come on! Or, Come on, Snook comes! Let's go play! And she kind of goes, la, 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 and goes and runs off in the distance and, uh, Snow comes, kind of looks at you and like his at you for a bit, and then quickly scampers away and uh, goes after Sally. Obviously, she's happy to be with uh, Sally, but she didn't trust you guys. Uh, so I guess uh, we go to the herbalist now. I mean, do we want to talk to Sally's dad at all? Is there any reason? I to? mean, he's passed out. He's in a hangover coma. So no chance of waking him up whatsoever. He's dead to the world. You could try, but he's probably <laughs> gone. We'd have to roll pretty high, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we can roll that high. <laughs> so, well, I can't. I rolls a shit. I don't think it'd if be we had a paladin, if we had a paladin, they could just eat him. <laughs> <laughs> or does um does um Pankov, Do you have any herbs in your bag which can like really wake someone up instantly? They're like, gonna force feed like him some herbs. Energy. No, like, there's the scent of one, perhaps. Oh. Like, like, you know... Yeah, it's we like, could have, like, a something. herb that just has, like, this um, really Your mic is muted, Pankog. Uh, good. Better. Yeah, we can hear you now, yeah. Okay. No, I do not have any smelling salts or, or herbs that would wake somebody up. <laughs> Especially not someone of his caliber right now. <laughs> um... Or should we just leave him then and, yeah, go to Herbalist? Because we're not going to get anything out of him if he is that gone. Yeah, he's yeah, pretty, he's pretty uh, toasted. Yeah. Sure, I'll say we go to Herbalist then, yeah. Back to the Herbalist. Okay. Good, because I want some more herbs that I could potentially use in the future. So, uh, I can always do with some more herbs to do with my medicines, etc. Let me get this potion list back up. Okay. Um, oh, so um, before we go to talk to her, is uh, because Pankog is like proficient with herbs and all that sort of stuff, um, she'll be able to make some potions as well, right? So if the herbalist doesn't actually have the potion we want or the potion we can currently use, could we buy the ingredients from her and then Pankog maybe turn them into potions? Pankog later doesn't on? isn't proficient or proficient in medicine. Which would what oh, you need? Just, I am. Yeah, uh, you, you'd want to give him to Echo. Yeah, it's me, I. Okay. I mean, anyone can either. technically roll, but your better chance at making decent potions is going to be an Echo. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see what ingredients she has and go from there. I guess. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm dealing more with uh, poisons. There you go. Then I can add on to my my arrows and die. So. Yeah, I'm looking more at uh, um, just buffs in general, strength, dexterity, that sort of stuff. Anything to make me smarter is also wisdom. <laughs> I'm looking out for that. Make me smarter. <laughs> make me smarter, please. I'm sorry, not even a natural rogue. 20 will save that, my dude. <laughs> just that dumb rogue, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you're making your way to the to Gisella. Gisella. Uh, yes. She's outside. Uh, she's already on her way picking... Some stuff from her, her garden and storing them in a big old basket that she's carrying. She uh, she sees you coming down the ways. Oh, hello, friends. 
you uh, here for another uh, sleep aid. <laughs> she kind of chuckles to herself. Catching you some more cats, are you? Uh, no, we're not catching any more cats today. We are actually here to talk. No, oh, to me. Oh, how can I be of help? Uh, uh yeah. in a coming around the corner, you hear a. Well, we just keep running into each other, don't we? And, uh, Belthony is there, and she's helping, uh, pick these herbs for Gisela. Hmm. Uh, I, I gesture towards, uh, Lushu, and I, I say, you, go ahead, you first. Okay, so the first potion... Um, that I would like. Is I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. Where is it? Oh, where is it? There it is. Okay. Um, oh, no, I haven't got enough gold for it. I didn't check the gold. Oh, god damn it. This is because all of them are like a hundred plus gold. Yeah. Um, they're all pretty pricey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, in that case. I'll take it just in case, um, could I get a potion of climbing? It should be 50 gold, um, and when drunk, a creature gains a climbing speed equivalent to its walking speed for one hour and gains an advantage on strength checks made to climb. Well, actually, I have a um, spell to make you climb uh, better, so I Ooh, mean... okay, yeah, not <laughs> worth, not worth, okay. Well, um, I just wanted to let you know that, so you yeah, know. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Well, you got to remember, though, that takes your, um, your spell slot. Remember that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's fine. Ooh. I mean, it does say I can also use it on a creature, so I could use it on Pancog's pet, for example, to give it an advantage to move faster, or any sort of climbing stuff, in case I don't need it. Um, but it, I most want to go for it because the gain strength um, advantage made to climb because I don't want to fall off again and make a fool of myself. <laughs> Where's the price list? Uh, Pancock, you're very quiet. No. There you go. Yeah, here we go. Much yeah, better. I think when you back up from uh, your webcam or your mic, it doesn't pick you up. Uh, I was saying that uh, Kyrian. I've only got 77 gold. This is not going to end well for me. Okay, um, well in that Thank case, I, I genuinely haven't got any, I've got potions of healing already, so I don't need that. I haven't got enough gold for any of these potions, I don't think any of us do, because we've all got no. similar amounts, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to have to wait. Oh, what about ingredients, I haven't, uh, can I, I ask her, um, so what ingredients do you have? Are you asking Gis uh, Gisella yeah, I'm asking that? Gisella, yeah. Uh, she says... Oh boy, that is, that is a loaded question that you're asking. Um, uh, how much time do you have? Like, I, I can't list them all off. <laughs> uh, looks like we may have uh, got disconnected from uh, Fantasy Grounds. I just got an error. Me? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, you guys? in. Yeah, yeah, we're all in. Yeah, we're all in. Okay. Yeah, I, I just. Oh, cool. It's back. Yeah, I got an error saying it disconnected. Anyway, um, so essentially she has a large surplus of herbs and stuff. It would be more efficient for you to ask her if she has specific ones. Okay, I ask, do you have anything which will aid me with slowing a target down? Uh, is, so this is going to be uh, to you as a player. Do you, is there, is that, does that exist on the potion sheet? Bear with me. Car, I'll go riddle from now. Uh, Essentially, we'll see if anything one. is available in the common or uncommon uh, potion sheet. Uh, we can say she might have the the ingredients for it. Okay. Um. One that is is. Um, a thing called identify, meaning to learn the properties of one object um, 
I can ask if she has anything which can um, aid me in understanding items. Anything that would give me any sort of better insight into oh. what something else could be. Isn't that a scroll? Um, not too sure, but I'm new member. <laughs> You're asking a noob, dude. Yep. Here, I'm gonna open it. It does say it's a potions one. What say, book is that in? Besides you, is it here? And you said it's uh, identify. Hmm. Identify. Oh no, I'm reading the wrong bit. It's an identify. Uh, identify is what is required to show this potion's true nature. Oh, okay. That, that, that'll be why. I need to read effect, not relevant. There you thing. go. <laughs> um, there we go, my bad. Um, I wonder why I can see oh, it. In that case, I'll tell you what, here's one I have found. Um, do you have anything which will make me faster? Because uh, um, the effect of haste. Haste? Is that... It only a, lasts for a minute, though. Is it a potion of haste? Well... Uh, it's po a potion of speed. Potion of speed. Uh, it's an ingredient of the potion of speed. Here's a little game mechanic knowledge. Uh, a minute is 10 rounds in combat. Oh, okay. So uh, that's how that equates. And you said it's a potion of uh, sp not speed. It's a potion of speed is the one that it's going to be making. But it's uh -huh. like one of the ingredients of it. So it's not potion as of speed. effective. It's like one of, the, like one of the main little bits. It, um, one of those costs... That's a very rare potion. Oh shit, yeah, it is. I don't think I can get anything, dude. I haven't got enough gold. <laughs> to be honest. Okay. Alright. Yeah, same. Um, like I said, you guys, you got, I, you already have uh, healing potions and stuff, which you guys technically shouldn't be able to yeah, use, really but you don't have a healer, so um, I kind of was a little lenient for you guys on that. A cure wound for my third spell. Yay! Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, it was nice popping in. <laughs> uh, since uh, my fellow travelers can't seem to figure out what they want, uh, I would like to get some belladonna, some angel's trumpets, and some yellow uh, oleander, as well as last one. Uh, Lily of the Valley. Uh, what are those going to make? Uh, those are, those are very poisons. Those are, uh, are those from, uh, that sheet? No. How are you going to make, uh, These are, uh, poisons? How are we going to deal well, with those? Poisonous plants. They're just poisonous plants in real life. No, I understand that, but the question is, if you're going to make poisons, we need to have a metric that you actually can make the poisons with and use them. You know what I mean? Pesto, it would be a pestle of mortar, uh, maybe a pebble and a rock. Um, I don't mean make them like that. I mean, as in, I'm assuming you like apply them to your arrowhead. How are you going to affect that in the actual game without breaking it? You know what I mean? Not true. Um, well, there's, uh, there's potion of poison. That's an uncommon. Uh. That is Potion of Vitality. That's a heal of poison. Otherwise, they'd be in the game. Yeah, I can't find any way to, like, an apply po poison. We might have to look that up. d d 5e apply poison. Uh, oh, here you go. Found one. There's a basic potion that you can use. What's the rarity? <clears throat> uh, oof. Yeah, a lot of these look like they're higher level. Uh, you can make a, at least a, like a drinkable poison potion. I'm not finding anything that you'd be able to, um, Apply to your weapon at your level, anyways. Injury poison. Uh, do, 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 do. It says you can cope one slashing or piercing weapon or up to three pieces of ammunition with it. 
line, the poison takes an action. A creature hit by the poisoned weapon or ammunition must make a DC 10 constitution. Right, so what is that that you're looking at? Uh, OldDungeonMaster.com. No, 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 I know that, but um, what kind of... Is it a potion? It has to have a name? What is it? Yeah, give me a sec. Because we need to know how rare it is. Listed in the player's handbook is basic poison. You can buy a vial for 100 gold. Yeah, I, I see that. That's the drinkable one. I'm talking about the one that you found. Does it say how rare that is? Uh, no, it doesn't. What's it called? It's, it just says basic po poison. Hmm. Basic poison. I uh, don't even know how to find that. Uh, we might have to come back to it. Okay. You, uh, you can cope, blah, 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 blah. I think I found it. And I think that's the same one that was in the book. So it's like a hundred gold to make one of those. Right, but if I could make it myself with that... Right, but the, the ingredients are going to essentially come out to a hundred gold. Taking poison. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, so um, we'll say since you would make it yourself, you'll get a, a little bit of a discount. You'll it would be eighty gold for all the uh, the ingredients to make that poison. The year. <laughs> well, then I will pass it up. Okay. Uh, but if I could have some chamomile, make some tea, that would be fantastic. Oh yeah, you you can buy some chamomile and stuff for tea. Uh, you know, thirty copper, whatever. That'll be plenty. Um, can I try to see? Which I mean, I don't think I'll have enough gold for it. But can I try to see if I can get a either potion of um, I think it's like water breathing or a potion of growth. Ocean of water breathing or growth? Uh, are you looking at the that book or that uh, thing? Yeah. Uh, what yeah. what's the rarity? Um, potion of water breathing is uncommon, and then <clears throat> and can you afford it? Would be the next question. The po yeah, potion of there. They're both uncommon. Okay. But they're both like 101 to 500. Yeah, gold. so all those things, but you'll do the minimum price. Um, but if you can make it yourself, it would be, if it's 101 gold, it'll be uh, 80 gold to buy the ingredients. Mm. Would they be able to kind of tell me what the ingredients is to kind of make it? Um, if they're on that sheet, then that's what they would be. Uh oh. And then you'd have to go scavenge the world for them. Kind of thing. Oh, God. Or the area. Kind of thing. Hi, Doug. Potion with the potion of healing be in my range. It's like common, but it's fifty to a hundred. Yeah, you, um, that's a that's a common, so you can buy that. Uh, okay, you I'll buy you that. each have three already. Oh, okay. Yeah, I gave them to you guys earlier on. Um. Okay. But uh, we'll say uh, you brought all these up to Gisela, and she's like, "Oh yeah, those are." But what you're asking for is a little more pricey. Um, I'd be happy to pr provide the herbs for a cheaper price standard, but uh, I'm, that's the best I can do. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, just out of character, um, mm -hmm. I've just found another website which um, is very, very basic, but it tells you every single herb in the game. Uh, including when, like, where they're available, uh, how long it takes to like prepare it into it, and the price. 
And these are just herbs, and they're a lot more reasonably priced for what we have right now. (laughs) Um, They're like 10 gold, 5 gold, 2 gold, like it's a lot better. So I'll put it in tavern again. That's uh, perfect. For um, reference reference. sake. (laughs) There we go. So So that's it there. What you want to do is when you're on that screen, um, where it says the herbal, it's broken down to A to C, D to G, H to P, Q to Z, blah, 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 blah. So next time when we come back, we we have a reference sheet now. That's perfect. Thanks, dude. I might move those into the the tools channel in a bit, or after stream. But yeah, and if I find out that uh, I overcharge you for your milk route and stuff, I'll I'll refund it after stream, Pancog. But okay, um, well, I just found one. Could I buy some aloe? Because um, aloe, when applied to the wound, will double the natural healing rate of burns and minor cuts. Sure, if, uh, if you can uh, afford it with that sheet. Yeah, it's um, five copper pieces and has two uses, but it's got an intelligence ability check. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, I'll just buy two pieces of that, so ten copper. So I'll remove that and add to my inventory. Sure. Um... Hello. And five. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty much done. I'll have a look for it properly and decide what next time. I don't want to hold this up. You're good. Um, so, Belton, is like, oh, I just, I just happen to have some of that right here. I just picked it, fresh off the plant. She hands it to you. Does her little head bob sideways? How much do you want for this, Gisella? And she tells you the price, and she's like, Here you go. <laughs> I just had over the copper. <laughs> and, uh... Towards everyone else. Does anyone else need anything? Um, I would like to get the posh... Or the... Oh, no. Herbs for, uh... Only. I, I guess underwater breathing. It's, uh... I don't know how to pronounce that. Gilvire, uh, Marura, and Sabido. <laughs> Those are some wild names. It's very, it's very hard. Are you able to find um the equivalent in that sheet that uh, Lucy just posted? Um, yeah, that's where I'm finding it. Okay. Um, so figure out how much that's going to cost. Also, Pancog, if you find out that the herbs exist on that sheet for potions, you can buy them, but then you're all going to have to roll for you making them yourself to see if they come out the way they're supposed to. Unfortunately, it doesn't say how much they cost. Well, Lucio just posted that list of uh, herb prices. Um, which... What would you press on? Because there's a bunch of stuff. Oh, um, what you want to do is is find out first what kind of herb you want, like what it's named, and then where it says um, where contents is. There's a list of stuff on the side. You've got one that says the herbal, and below that you've got A to C, D to G, H to P, and Q to Z. Clicking on those will bring up the herbs with that, and it will tell you the preparation. Like my aloe, for example, requires no preparation. So I can use it instantly, but um, Alifair requires one day of preparation before you can use it. So, and it gives you the price and how many times you can use it, everything there, my dude. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna have a good look at the herbs before, um, herb list before I buy something next. Okay. Um, To speed things along, uh, do you guys want to look at that afterwards? Yeah, because otherwise um, so we're going to be here for like 20 minutes. Because it's yeah, very important due to the availability. What's the season right now that we're in? Uh, the because season? Some herbs aren't available during like colder seasons. Some aren't available during warmer. So what season? What was the the festival was? Uh, I said the festival was happening at the the equinox. When's the equinox? Isn't that spring? There's. Was there two uh, the spring you can that was it yeah so it's spr- spring it's spring spring okay spring summer spring and summer i need to check if aloe is even going to be available to it me it will aloe is uh oh yeah 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 <laughs> yeah it's good oh look malarian is on the list 
Valerian is a good plant. Mm. Except on here, it doesn't it eases fits. Mm -hmm. Too much, and it does the opposite. Okay, um, so we'll say, like, after sh stream or whatever, you guys can figure that out, and we'll be on the honor system. Take the proper gold out and stuff that you want, and then uh, you can fill me in uh, what you bought or whatever um, through the Discord chat. Um, but we'll say you got whatever you got here so we can move okay. ahead. Um, okay, so now what? You bought your stuff from Gisela. Mm -hmm. And uh, now what do you do? Well, did we hear of any other things? Oh, wait, the, that was that rat problem mm -hmm. that we still need to take care of. Um... Or did the cat take care of a rat? No, the cat didn't well, take care of it. We've now got a pound for the cat. So, uh, 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 <laughs> you know? I just cut a crown thing on that. <laughs> uh, well, Lucio turns towards um, Gisela, uh, was it Gisela, that's the one, Gisela, mm -hmm. um, and thanks her for the herb potions, etc. that we have acquired. Um, motions towards the others. Um, it seems like a few of these potions are a bit out of our price range. Maybe we should go and help some more of the townspeople to see if we can make some more gold. I remember seeing in the tavern that there was a rat problem around here. Maybe we should stick into that. I agree. I agree. Uh, I also agree. That would give me ample time to show Kyrian that he needs to hunt them. <laughs> yeah, actually, like animal taming, training and stuff, yeah, that works. Yeah, animal bonding. Mm. Corin, what do you say? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, yeah, yes. awesome. <laughs> Best response, that's great, I love that. <laughs> yeah, that's good, let's do this. I was looking at the other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all good, all good. Okay, so, so uh, I guess we all go to the... That's a me do, response. Do we, do, we, do, we, do we go to the tavern first, or do we remember where the rat problem was? Do we have to go and see the notice again? Because I can't remember where it Excuse was. Me. It just... Oh, let's see, I can't. Um, well, Belthony overhears you guys talking about this, and uh, she, she kind of hands her basket to Giselle and says, Oh, are you wanting to go talk to Travis about his uh, rat problem? Oh, well, I was uh, headed right back into town anyway. Uh, I'd be happy to show you. Uh, I just got to go pick some stuff up from my house and uh, we can be on our way. Sounds fantastic. Leave the way. Okay. Uh, she, she hands the, the basket over to Giselle and it's like, uh, I'll be back later to help you out some more. That's fine, dearie. You go, you go help your friends. And uh, they kind of uh, you, you guys get ready to walk away, and, uh, you're gonna have a little RP moment, and you're, you're walking back, uh, to the, the inn, or whatever. He's like, follow me, uh, we're just gonna go, uh, back to my house and back to the inn real quick. And, uh, you, you can see that, uh, the spring in her step isn't quite there any, uh, right now. Seems something's, uh, riding on her... Her mind, obviously. Probably from this morning. Do you guys think she knows or she, maybe about she these letters? letters that we we make? Um, that's what I think. Maybe we should go to the tavern and. Well, we are. We're on our way there. Uh, maybe we should talk to her. Maybe slide oh, a little. Okay. How are you doing? Yeah, oh, she's okay. No. So yeah, Lu Lucio notices that the the whole spring in the step isn't there. She's, and, she's looked um, after us, you know. Maybe we should yeah, look after just her. Just says, um... Belton, you seem troubled. What's the problem? Uh, she, she kind of... She stops mid-stride. Uh, you almost ride, run right into her uh, because she kind of stops abruptly and, and uh... She kind of thinks to herself as to whether or not she's going to talk to you about things right now. And she's, she finally says... I'm I'm worried about Belroy. He's uh he's been getting more and more depressed uh the last few months. And uh as his betrothed you'd think that uh I'd be able to do something to help out, but nothing that I seem to do seems to help him. He used to be such a happy man and he he was the man that you'd go to if you ever need cheering up, he Always making jokes and making people laugh, go out of his way to help you out, and 
he's changed and I'm just worried about him. She, she's okay. starting to tear up a little bit. Okay, has anything happened in the recent months to maybe have caused this? Uh, she, uh, she hesitates to answer and, uh, kind of avoids the question. And, uh, she, okay. eventually she kind of looks down at her feet and, uh, says, she, she kind of, like, kicks some of the dirt around. Not, not that I know of. Uh, you can roll a insight check if you want. Oh, yeah, I was just about to see if I could. Uh, has anyone else got proficiency in insight? Because I've got a plus zero. Oh, so, has anyone got so. anything that can... Oh, wait, do I have to roll it because I'm the one asking the questions? Any of you so guys these can. These guys are around me. Okay, so who has the better insight? I only have a plus one in insight. I have plus two. Am I, okay, Echo so far. Corin, what's yours? I also have plus two. Oh, well, I guess either one of you two can roll. Well, both. <laughs> you all can technically can roll. roll. Well, I guess, yeah, we should probably all roll then. Yeah, why not? Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I guess Corin's the only one that knows what's <laughs> going on. <laughs> Which is funny because she doesn't understand human <laughs> stuff. How does she uh, on? All right, so since since Corin doesn't really understand humans, even though she got the best role, she's just gonna think that she's behaving strangely. Actually, you know what? No, we'll change it. You can smell her pheromones, Corin, and you're able, and it triggers in your reptilian brain that there's deception at hand here. You're able to smell her sweat that uh, she's not being honest. I'm trying to think of what I would say. Um, I guess I ask her, um, how does Bellroy uh, make you feel? Like, do you, do you like him? Uh I love him with all my heart. We've, uh, we've been engaged since we were born. Um, everything was planned out. We've, up until the last few months, we've been more than happy to spend our time together, and it's, it's just different now. Like, I don't understand what, why? Just why am I not enough anymore? And Corin would say this kind of based on her own, like, uh, not her own experience, but her own, um, just kind of seeing a little bit, like, what's happening, like, that they're being kind of, like, forced together, rearranged marriage kind of thing. Um, she would say, well, um, I... Know that, um, arranged marriages, uh, can probably be hard as far as it comes to, uh, feelings. Um, and feelings do change sometimes when it comes to, uh, arranged marriages because, uh, well, I mean, you're, you're kind of forced into, um, marrying another person and um i don't know maybe the best thing to do would probably be to ask belroy maybe how he feels i guess uh she has a she has a, a slew of different emotions as she hears you uh speaking uh when you, you mentioned the uh the arranged marriages uh, being hard and maybe not working all the time. She she looks very confused and puzzled. And then uh, when you mention um, talking to Belroy, uh, her eyes kind of tear up a little bit. And uh, she kind of nods to herself. Um, you're able to notice that uh, she, she obviously knows something. Um, she decides to uh, 
ignores the second part of what you said, and she says, But, uh, it's tradition. Uh, those born under the same moon are destined to become wed. And, uh, they are blessed by the moon goddess. And, uh, at birth, if you are born under the same moon, you are given a very similar name that joins you together at the moment of your birth that is to last through your lifetime. Isn't that how it is everywhere? No. Not exactly, no. no. Where we um, come from. She's kind of taken it back. She doesn't, she doesn't realize that. She thought this was how it was across the world. That uh, everyone that was born under the same uh, moon would just be named similarly and then they'd be joined for life. So now, now she's kind of shaken up that something in her life is not common. Corrin would also say, um, because she, maybe she's seen this, maybe she hasn't, but, um, she would also say, um, just because, uh, people are arranged to marry each other, um, doesn't necessarily always mean that the person, um, will, you know, marry that person, even though they're arranged to. Um, the other person might have different feelings, um, as hard as that is to kind of come to understandings, um, when that's, you know, all you know. She starts, uh, um, is the range you can see confusion in her eyes flare up and her eyes start to well up with more tears. She's, okay. she's confused, uh, of what she's hearing. She's confused that this is not how it's common. Uh, the thought of them not even being uh blessed by the moon goddess like she's her village has obviously been taught and her tradition is in question now she has a little bit of anger and resentment and confusion all at once and she doesn't know uh how to respond properly right now i sidestep in with um it's obviously not uncommon for arranged marriages. Obviously, we do. There, there are them, you know, everywhere. Um, so don't get worried, you know. And they are successful. Don't let, um, you but, know. But, other but it's blessed by the moon goddess. It's thing. it's supposed to last. It's it's yeah, never supposed I to be mean, a question. I don't understand. I, I, I'm not, don't let people think you know it, it might not last it and you know it might you know I, I don't get too upset about it you know don't you know it, it might last she uh don't. she kind of gets becomes overwhelmed and uh has to brush off her her eyes oops i had the thing on and she brushes off her uh the tears from her eyes it's like i'm sorry i have to go and she uh starts to whimper and she runs uh down the street and you don't know where she's going you're assuming she's probably going home um but you guys brought into her question her entire life and her entire culture and her future we came in here to cheer her up <laughs> of course the guy it me, I didn't mean to make her sad, but Corn also doesn't really know, like, necessarily that much about, you know, human emotion yeah. because she hasn't really been that much around humans. This is so, very true. <laughs> I mean, she, she would be a little bit confused, but also feel a tiny bit bad, but she doesn't really know why. It's spot on, and I love it. Uh, we, we let the dragonborn try to talk to her. <laughs> I, bad idea from the start. Yeah, that's probably one of the worst ideas. <laughs> He's up there, let's just send in the dragonborn. <laughs> we, the Lucia just stood back because he didn't want to get taken as a opponent again. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I learned my lesson, dude. I my lesson. <laughs> no, I was just about to that, uh... Arranged marriages are more for political means of uh, gaining more power in uh, in my elven tribe. Especially because uh, I was engaged, but uh, they could never find him anymore. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what did you do to him? 
<laughs> she fed into the tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that can be proven. Okay. I knew I liked you. Um, so you guys are kind of just standing in the middle of the road now. Belthony token off, and now you're just kind of... What are you doing? You were headed to the inn. We need to head to the inn to try and um, do this quest uh, for the rats for Travis. <laughs> yeah, so, um... I kind of look up after staying away from all that, and Lucy says, So, guys, should we... Carry on? <laughs> he, he didn't want to get involved at all with what just happened. Just yeah, yeah, back. yeah. I'm out. I'm, I'm done. I, uh, yeah, I, we, 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 we must destroy it up. I'm just, saving this. Feels like we well. just go. Over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go them... Crying girls isn't my forte. I just no. I mean, I could try to seduce her, but I don't think that would that would help the situation anymore. Yeah, that would probably be the actually probably one of the worst things you could have done. Yeah. I would try to get her drunk, but no. I literally just said what my dragonborn would say because she she's only talking like based on what she probably. He doesn't love you. It's only <laughs> arranged. It's not real. <laughs> Your whole life <laughs> <laughs> okay. The so, tears turn to floods. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> so, uh, you you get to the inn, and you notice the the door is slightly ajar. Oh no! Oh. Are we about to get kicked out because uh, we let the dragonborn try to talk about? <laughs> so, you can tell me what you're doing. You see the door's ajar. Okay, so I, I want to walk in. I'm 100% going in. Yeah. Yes, we, we let the row go in first. Yes, but I do it all schnickily. All schnickily, you see. Kind of creep up to the door, open it slightly, look in, peer in to see what's going on, to see if there's any problems whatsoever. I can see immediately. Okay. Um, as you open the door, uh, you notice a mess happened in the inn. Um, things be, ha, seem to have been hastily moved around. Um, each of you roll a perception check. Or an investigate, your choice. Oh, um, this does count. My expertise gives me a double, um, uh, in my perception. So, I'm not sure how it works. Do I just roll and then add another yeah. plus two to just it? Just add the end of the first two. two at the moment. Okay, then. So that plus four, the sixteen. All right. Um, holy shit, Pancog. <laughs> Just ignore my. You rolled thoughts. natural twenty. <laughs> I know. I was like, yes. Uh, Knows what's happening. All right. Uh, so Pancog, you um, as you guys are kind of looking around, like, what the hell just happened? Y'all, you guys are obviously able to tell that uh, it wasn't a burglary, it wasn't breaking in, um, but it looks like someone left in a hurry. Pancog finds a letter on the floor. Oh no. Oh gosh. I bet you 100% of Bethany or. I can't remember her name. I picked up the letter. What? I'm going to examine it. Okay. Uh, you open the letter and uh, it reveals a time and a date to meet. Of course it does. Mm. And yet here I am getting involved. Well, now we're involved anyway, so we're already here. <laughs> this was gonna happen. This had nothing to do with me reading the, the letters. Letter this, the, 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 the letter's not... open. It's not addressed to anyone. It's just thanks, not... thanks, thanks yeah. to my roguish actions, we had prior knowledge to this. So <laughs> <laughs> justify it as, as you wish, I guess. <laughs> I'll try to. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what? Um, uh, Lucio picks up the letter and starts to read it. What date and place does it say? Uh, th three days from now, about, uh... Three days. About a four-hour, uh, walk to your, uh, to the west. Sir, I don't appreciate you snatching the letter from my hand. <laughs> no, Pancog found it. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I didn't really the floor. How far of a ride is it? Well, Pancog hasn't told you guys about the letter yet. I'm oh. 
Okay, fine. I tell them about the letter. Go ahead. Play it out. Um, well, the location on it, it, it seems to be about a four-hour trip walking. So, uh, and it looks to be about three days from now. You didn't tell them that you found a letter or anything. Oh. <laughs> oh, I found a letter. I found a letter. <laughs> Uh, the mail is here, the mail, mail time. There you go. Okay, how do you guys respond to that? <laughs> yes, a letter. Yes, a letter. And it, it looks to me from our mysterious pen pal. Mm-hmm. That I still oh, uh, if it is a man. I, oh, I was about to say, I asked Pankog, does M sign their name this time? Or is it still signed M? Still signed M. Still signed. Okay. Says is something it, like. It, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Is it very feminine writing or is it more masculine? It's writing? beautiful writing. Damn it. I can't tell this. Sometimes guys have good handwriting too. Uh, I hand the letter to Lushu and I. Uh, um, I will say in the letter, it does mention that uh, M is nervous about the meeting uh she really wants to and that's what she proposed is uh obviously she did receive a letter and she responded back with a time and date uh or a, yeah a time date and place where she would say say let's meet um but it was more of a i'm nervous and uh i would love to meet if you feel the desire to meet me Meet me here at this time, date, and place. M. Okay. Um... I leave the decision to you and Echo. Well, for now, we can't do anything. I say the best thing for us to do right now is to save ourselves a four hour walk. We go to the stables and hire a horse prematurely for that day. Um, because I mean, if it's a four, if it's a four hour walk, I'm guessing it'd be, what, an hour and a half, two hour, like, yeah. riding a horse? Yeah, roughly? and there's a stables here. You'll have to, you'll have to hire, have or you'll have to pay for the, the horses. Yeah, of course, of course, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Lushu says, um, well, seeing, seeing as we have a journey ahead of us, maybe we should go and see the local stableman, see if he will hire us a horse to save our journey. <laughs> I, I politely raise my hand as to not interrupt Lushu. Are there any horses that can support our, one of our party members? Do you Casually see? Glance over to Corin. Oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah, the being, horses being, can, being the horses can carry a dragonborn just fine. <laughs> They're not much bigger yeah. than you guys. <laughs> um. Okay. Right, so. but I would. Okay. Plus, she's a druid. You'd think the horse would be uh, okay with a, a nature person. Anyway. What time is it now, by the way? Sorry? Uh, right now? Uh, yeah. Because it was later in the day. It's probably 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Okay, then. So we've got about five, six hours before the Shady Merchant becomes available. Possibly. Um, possibly. Okay. Um, well, Lushu then says once again, maybe we should go and see the stableman and see if uh, he has any horses that will be capable of our journey. Hancock, you're cutting off your face. <laughs> you can just move your webcam down a little bit if you want, if it's more comfortable. Um, I like your your hair, by the way. Um, so do you guys agree to go check out the stableman? Yes. Okay. Um, as you uh, agree on that, and uh, you're going to go see if you can find Belroy, because it obviously looks like he uh, he left in a hurry, you turn around and uh, you go to open the door to uh, head to the stableman. Belthony's standing there. She has tears streaming down her eyes. Lushu takes a big Hold on. Yike step backwards. Hold on. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end it tonight. Uh. 
this dude. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stay behind. Uh, <laughs> that's where we're ending it. Next week, we're, we're gonna pick up on you guys seeing Belthony there with tears just streaming down her face. Oh, God. So we have a person that makes uh, the bar woman cry, and then we have a, a person that attempts to steal from a merchant and then gets accused of being a pervert. Fantastic. <laughs> Great way to start. And I got cried on by barbarian. <laughs> this, this is lovely. This is great. Oh, I'm gonna. Jackson, what have you done? Oh wait, you you were in the drinking gun. I knew I, I knew I should have took the spell of invisibility. <laughs> Just hide in the corner. <laughs> yeah. <Yep. laughs> All right, it is super super late for our UK friends, so uh, yes. we should we should probably sign oh, yeah. off. Um, thank you guys for playing. Uh, I do hope you had fun. And uh. Yeah. I, I really do fun, enjoy otherwise. playing with you guys. You're making me think on my toes constantly. Um, every time I'm like, oh, we're going to do all this crazy stuff. Nope. You you guys, I love that you're RP in your characters. And uh, I really enjoy playing with you guys. So I hope you're enjoying and excited to continue playing. Um, but uh, if you guys want to, we can go ahead and sign off here real quick. Do you have any questions or anything to say? To, or in general, uh, the campaign? No, well, really going to be taking a heavy look at this uh, herb list and potion list though Try and same get yeah I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm, um, so do we send you uh, a DM of what we want to buy ready for next time as in we've already bought it from Gisela yeah. um, if you can okay, afford it so then just, we give you how yeah. much gold it is and blah blah okay cool so, so I'll leave it up to you to do Sorry. two things if you're going to buy anything from Gisela find out the appropriate prices uh, do the lowest end of the, the cost if it has a scale um, take that out of uh, whatever your money you have, and then um, you can let me know, and I'll go find it in Fantasy Grounds and somehow add it to your character so it's available to you. Uh, just be aware of how you're going to have to prepare it or make it or whatever and stuff like that. Yeah, it does say on here how to make it, and there's also um, notes above it teaching you step-by-step step how to prepare each one. Okay. So all the information is on that thing. Yeah, and if you want, handy. it'd be uh, handy to get yourself a notebook and stuff like this and uh, mm -hmm. make a note So, because it's kind of hard to track sometimes on the character sheet in Fantasy Grounds. Um, so if you do want to make it, you can give it to Echo or whatever, and they can try to make it matching the uh, the requirements there. Oh, getting some treaties from Fragger. Hold on a minute. Um, also, be sure to say thank you for the treaties. Be sure to get uh, DM me with any kind of equipment, items, uh, whatever that you would look forward to for your character. It can be equipment, items, something for RP, something that would uh, help with your backstory or something that you're looking forward to. What would you really like for your character? Uh, because, one, it will help me know what kind of items that you're looking for uh, for your character. Also, uh, be aware that you guys are coming up on your first ability point slash feat. Um, if you want, I can explain that into the Discord uh, chat as well. Um, that means... Uh, you can get special skills and stuff if you want, or it increases your ability points by one kind of thing. We, we can, uh, we'll talk about that. So be aware of that. That is coming down. And uh, other than that, do you have anything else, Pancog, Echo, Corin? Uh, I'm entirely happy. Cool. Um, yeah, good. I guess here's where we'll end it then, my friends. Uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Thank you, everyone, for... Uh, in the chat that kind of hung around. Spectre, I know you're not here anymore. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, we all greatly appreciate that. Uh, Tomato, Plu, Con Unconventional, Trez, thank you guys all for the follow. Uh, welcome. Hopefully uh, you gave some of our other friends that are streamers here a follow as well. And uh, we appreciate you here. We hopefully we see you some more. Uh, more than happy to have you. Uh, we try to balance talking with you guys as well as maintaining focus on the campaign. If you do want to catch up, like I said, uh, all the videos go up on YouTube and they're available now. Uh, so check them out. I appreciate you guys for being here. Birch, thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate the lurk. Um, I am super crazy looking forward to next week um, just because I've been trying to build up to something for a while here and uh, we're finally getting to it. Um, so hopefully you guys are looking forward to it too. Um, but uh, yeah, you guys want to say goodbye to everyone? Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you for joining us. Have a nice day. Bye.
<laughs> for everyone I remember, every Saturday. Every Saturday, every Saturday. Yeah, that's right. Every Saturday. Every Saturday, at around maybe. 2 p.m. Uh, mountain time. Exactly. But... Yes. Alright, guys. Well, everyone, it was great playing. It is now 20 to 2 in the morning for us, so... Oh, God. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we, we, we played definitely way later than we normally do, but, uh... Yeah. yeah. Oh, we had it. It would normally it be stuff, all but... night, but it's in isolation, so it's good. Yeah. It's and I, I kind of like... <laughs> that we, we left on a great cliffhanger, so it's perfect. We did. We right. did. Night, my friend. Okay, then, guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. All right, uh, oh, dragon. Also, that dragon, our dear friend Dino Keys has made us. He also made us the intro, and I'm. This is the first week we got to unveil it. I love it, Dino. You are awesome. If you guys don't know Dino Keys, if you came from Specter Dusk's channel, you probably know him. Uh, but go check him out. Uh, he does awesome work. He's a pleasure to work with. I love him. I have a, actually, I could have just done. I have a command just for him. Uh, that was the first time we uh. Got to unveil this stuff, and it's really cool. Also, the little glowy bits here, that's something else that he included, included, and he's freaking awesome. Yeah, he's he's super cool, dude. Um, Anyway, I hope you guys had fun. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, Let's see, what am I forgetting? Next Saturday, uh, we're going to be catching up. Um, Rokax, he's our fighter of the the team. He just had a baby three days ago with his, uh, his gal. That's why he missed out today. He... We're planning tomorrow a one-on-one -on -one session. So hopefully you guys can tune in for that. Cereal, you the man. Thank you guys so much for the five biddies. We'll get them doggo some biddies. You guys want to see the doggo? Hold on. You, you guys can show you the doggos real quick. Just for our new friends can see doggy. Oh, you know what? Discord's still open. I can't do it. Cookie time. We got some cookie times as well. Um, From Birch. Um, say thank you so much for the cookies. Uh, let me get, let me add this little thing real quick so you guys can see. Add webcam. Doggo. All right, hopefully this will just pop up, and you're gonna see me with the uh the green screen, but whatever. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, it's because it was being used by Discord. Let me close Discord. This should work. Please work. Um, oh, yeah, I was saying, tomorrow... Hey, look at it, it me. Um, that is the, the doggo cam. Look how horrible quality it is compared, because it's white screen balance and it's all jacked up. But here's the doggy. There's one. That's that's Mama's. And that one's Jadis. These are the two happy hippos. They're the real stars of the show, which... Unfortunately, you don't see them during the D&D session because I use this cam for the players so they can actually see me, you know, acting out stuff if I need. But um, tomorrow is going to be a special, I guess, day uh, because we're going to be doing a s special one-on-one -on -one side quest with Rokax to uh, explain why he wasn't here today. And uh, the players already know, um, as I said in the beginning... Uh, the the team is like he went back to his tribe uh, to talk to his uh, tribal elder to see if she knows what what the heck happened uh, to the city and stuff. So that's why he's gone. Uh, he's hopefully going to be joining us next week. But we're going to be RPing and playing what happens in uh, his tribe tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to it. So if you guys want, tune in tomorrow. Um, it's going to be later in the day um, since he's going to have to make sure the the bit new baby and stuff is down, and then uh, his family is all in order so it'll probably be uh, about eight o'clock pacific time um that's what we're kind of shooting for yes the goliath fighter that's right hey you found out the overlay the thing's awesome right um i appreciate you guys hanging out thank you guys so much for tuning in um i'm rambling now that's par for the course <laughs> for me in this stream but i really do appreciate you guys being here uh i'm very much con excited to continue the campaign um i'm a newish dm so as you can see i'm learning um playing with some new players, which is awesome. Glad to get them into it. They're they're soaking into their characters really good. I really like that because it helps me as a DM uh, move stuff forward. So I appreciate you guys being here. But um, let's go uh, see if we can go spread the love over that uh, Spectre has brought on. That's usually something I forget. Let's see if we got any friends playing. Let's see. Let's see. Am I forgetting anything, by the way, guys? I usually forget something by the end of the stream. Shy is doing some art. 
Excuse me. Wow, a lot of people, excuse me, are doing art right now. Um, let's see. Well, not many people are doing anything right now. What do you guys want? Do you guys want some art? And she's like, pretty much all my follow channels right now are playing art. Playing art. Um, commotion like argument. Yeah, that, that's the downside of having some uh, experienced players. Usually in that situation, actually, you know what? We can just keep rambling here. Um, in that situation, good, uh, good players will pull themselves back and be like, all right, this is player knowledge. This is different than character knowledge. Also, Trez, wasn't there something that you wanted me to show you on uh, Fantasy Grounds? Uh, so I'm going to end the uh, recording real quick. I'm going to do the outro for the recording itself, but I'll continue streaming so I can uh, go through Fantasy Grounds if you want. Um, but let's do the outro real quick. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let's me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. Uh, hopefully you hang out some more with Quarantine uh, team. We're having fun with it. Uh, but more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. I'm Invasive. You guys can't see him. Mamas and Jadas are down here. We are quarantined. Thank you guys for hanging out, and we'll catch you next time.